Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a Pokemon Gen 1 tier list, ranking all 151 of the original Pokemon. I was gonna do a clever intro for this, uh, but no, I don't have enough brain cells for that, so, we're just, so you just get the <laughs> default stock YouTube intro. What's up guys, we're doing a thing. What's up guys, today we're gonna be doing a tier list ranking all 151 original Gen 1 Pokemon. If you like the video, <laughs> then like it, subscribe to it, give us a hundred dollars. Whoever has the better taste in Pokemon gets a million dollars! Alright, now people are gonna be watching, there's money on the line. Yeah, so... Uh, Pokemon, it's, uh, it's pretty near and dear to both our hearts, I, I would say. I, 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 well, I, it's, I see Pokemon Showdown being played between you and some people in the server occasionally. Yeah, so, yeah, Pokemon has been a thing in my life since I was, god, probably since insane. I, well, yeah, definitely since I was a child, but I'm trying to remember the exact age. I think since I was either... Either five or six, one of those two ages, because my first Pokemon, well, oh god, even before playing any of the video games, though, I watched the anime, as, as, uh, I, I think while, uh, Diamond and Pearl anime was coming out. Either Diamond and Pearl or, no, I think Black and White was a little later, so I was there for near the end part of Gen 4. And... Well, I was watching reruns of it on Cartoon Network uh, back in Gen 1 and 2 days. God damn. Wait, hold on. Since Gen 2 days? When the, when the fuck did Gen 3 come out? Gen 3 uh, release date. Early to mid 2000s, but. No, wait, no, no. Diamond Pearl was like 2006, right? Was that 2007? Uh, one of the two, because Gen 3 was 2002. So don't. What year were yeah, you born so, again? Yeah, so, well, that, that's around the time... I got into Pokemon around the uh, Gen 3, because Emerald was my first Pokemon game, but uh, I, I played uh, the OG games on uh, a Game Boy Color. I played Red, Blue, and, was, and even as a little kid, who, we, uh, when I had technologically superior games with stuff like uh, Emerald and Fire Red, Leaf Green... And uh, I could realize, oh, you can run, and the colors are so much prettier. You can actually tell what you're looking at most of the time in these games, as opposed to the Game Boy games, especially Red and Blue, because sometimes, the, especially the Pokemon sprites, just kind of look like some pixel vomit. But uh, even back then, I was like, this is like the coolest thing in the fucking universe, dude. Yeah, so my first Pokemon game was Poke Park Wii of all things. Then after that I got Diamond and Pearl and that introduced me to mainline Pokemon. It took me a long time to get to the Gen 1 games and I never actually beat them. But I have played a decent amount of the specifically Pokemon Yellow. I you know, I would have my Pikachu following me and you you get the friendship meter up. And okay, okay, by the way I there's can I okay, I was super into glitches, though, when I was doing Gen 1, so, like, I knew how that you could use the potion on Pikachu infinitely to get its happiness up infinitely. But yeah, you were about to say something? I was gonna say, can I tell you a secret? Uh, I'm a filthy Gen 1-er. <laughs> You're a filthy Gen 1-er, I see. Uh, I, I, I would have not... a <laughs> special place in my heart for uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green. I think they are... Some of, if not the best Pokemon games up there with the the Gen three, everything Gen three. I think Gen three is the best Gen if you if you count uh, Fire and Leaf Green as part of that Gen. But uh, I, I I think Pokemon peaked there and they've come close a couple times to hitting the similar highs uh with, like with the the black and white games and uh. I think maybe Sun and Moon, but uh, definitely not so, since yeah, then. I, so my, I'm of a slightly different opinion because Gen 3 is actually the one gen that I have not played any mainline entries for, aside from Sword and I... Shield and Scarlet and Violet. So I have the sort of inverse experience of you. I was a little too young to get in right then. So I started out with Gen 4, then moved to Gen 5. And so because those were the ones that I played as a child, th that's where I I think it peaked in Gen 5, because that's what I'm nostalgic for. 
Uh, Pokemon X and Y are mid. Pokemon Sun and Moon are pretty good if you if pretend the first two hours don't exist because it's uh, all I, tutorials. I know. I fucking. I e e even as like a teen when what what year did Sun and Moon come out? Because I I think I, I had to be a teenager at that time. Yeah, I know. I was pro yeah like entering my teen years. Dude, it took me. S I, I remember trying to get through Pokemon Moon the first time. I think I put it down for like a few weeks because it was I, so. Slow. I was. I haven't finished Sun and Moon yet. God damn, uh, which, which I, is crazy did, because it's it's the only Pokemon uh, game where I've I caught a shiny, but uh, naturally I just early on in my playthrough I just found a shiny. One shiny, god damn. Yeah, I, I I I didn't even try to hunt for it. It just spawned. It's the only time where a shi a, a, a non scripted shiny Pokemon just appeared before me, and I was able to catch it. See, I didn't even I... register it was shiny at the time. I was just like, oh look, cool, a Makihita. That'd be cool on my team. Wait, why is it like God. a slightly different color? See, I've caught a bunch of shiny Pokemon in the day. Like I remember shiny hunting type null on Pokemon Moon. And I, I'd put no, like I YouTube not a videos on hunter. in the background, and then just reset over and over again to get the shiny you want. Uh, it's a little addicting, but you get bored of it pretty quick. Cause it, it yeah, is kind of I, it, it, it's I I can't I gambling. can't shiny hunt because I need I need to like always be making forward progress on on a task. If I'm doing something where like I could just fail five hundred times in a row and not be any closer to finding the thing, I'll 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 just quit. Well, I will say, uh, one of my shiny Pokemon will influence my opinions on this list. Uh, my first shiny, in fact. But we'll get to that when we yeah, get so to that. I, I guess we should lay out some, some ground rules then for this list. So, uh, I'll, we didn't really say this beforehand, but I think we'll just uh, agree. This is not going to be based on any like competitive aspect, because I don't give a shit about that, and I'm assuming neither do you. No, no, it's purely personal bias, and bias is probably the right word considering we're dealing with stuff we're nostalgic for. Like this, this is yeah. gonna be super rooted in memories. Yeah, um, yeah, the, the we got all one hundred and fifty one original Pokemon here, uh, and we're gonna be t dividing them up into the the true tier list format. We've got God tier, top tier, high tier, mid tier, low tier, piss tier. AKA the shit tier that Crunchy insisted that we name the piss tier, and so I I I, I gave him the. Listen, I'm an Oni, my piss. fan. It, it it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, we're we're just gonna be organizing them by uh, how 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 much we like their designs and uh, just uh just how much of a, a cooler, cute, funny guy they are. And uh, yeah, I, so guess, I guess uh, we do, can do we have any other. Yeah, uh, do we have any more like guidelines we want to judge them by, or is, there, or is that all? Is that is that basically it? No, I think we delve right into probably the most controversial part of the video already. Uh, which starter did you choose? Uh, I chose uh, Charmander. Uh, of if you ask me, uh, you're a I basic mean, bitch. Well... <laughs> no, no, if you're basic, you pick uh, Squirtle. What do you and, mean and, you're if basic you have, if you pick Squirtle? If you have no likes friends, Charmander. You pick, if you have no friends, you pick Bulbasaur. So here's my centrist opinion on the starters. They're all around the same tier, to to be honest. And this is literally the I, I only they're, gen they're I can so say iconic. that for. They're see, the, here's okay. the thing. None of them are like if, if god someone... tier, but they're all solid, and there's like none of them are bad. I could choose any one of them depending on my mood whereas uh, for the other gens, i don't think i've there's... ever been put into a situation where i wanted to choose bulbasaur because i think venusaur is definitely the lamest of the three uh evolutions but uh yeah. i mean Bul looking at Bul bulbasaur is just I like, like a, a cool guy i like i like the little green onion on his back i love his scales and his red eyes and how it contrasts Uh, I, I guess I will say, and I, I think it's one of the original sprites of, uh, sprites of Venusaur, I think in the Japanese, uh, green, Venusaur looks kind of like a pancake. <laughs> he, he looks flat. <laughs> so, I guess if you were playing the original ones, then yeah, I'd go Venusaur no way in a million years. <laughs> but if we're going <laughs> off of modern renditions, I think they all look pretty cool. 
Uh, although yeah, I also I mean, have I, some. I, I love them all. But uh, I mean, if, I do if, have if some we're talking memories about the... of Venusaur, though, that might be uh, swaying my opinion. Because in Poke Park Wii, Venusaur was the leader of the Meadow Zone, which was the first area you went into. He was like this tyrannical leader that wouldn't let any of the Pokemon leave the zone because it was it's dangerous outside, guys. You can't leave. It's too it's too deadly. Just stay in the Meadow Zone where all the what Pokemon the fuck are. What kind weak. of lore does Poke Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure have? Um, <laughs> not a whole lot. But yeah, uh, he, he had Venusaur's Vine Swing, which was his attraction. You probably have no context for this, because you... I, I think I have the game, I just never played it. Uh, it's not that good, but... I've, I've heard it's it is the very one po- mid. It's like, it's, like a, it's like a Pokemon game for, like, action. It's like a Pokemon 3D platformer for babies. Well, it's not a 3D platformer. There, there's no platforming oh, elements. It, you oh, you go like around making friends collection? with people. Uh, kinda. But you go around, like, making friends, and you do that by battling or playing chase, or... I was gonna know, say, my, my only experience thing. with the game is uh, with watching an Ant Dude video on it. Yeah, it's... It's I uh, Poke Park 2 is way better. Uh, and even that is still... Uh, if nostalgia, n- nostalgia tainted me probably puts it at like a seven if, out of ten. If you if you want to talk nostalgia, about nostalgia tainting your flounder. opinions, I I prefer Ivysaur to Venusaur purely because of Brawl. Uh goddamn! Uh, I don't have those same uh, memories for Brawl. I I did play it as a kid, but I wasn't super big on it. I just played it. Brawl is probably the the video game I've put the most time into throughout my life. At least, at the very least, my childhood. I imagine that just because it's the most recent one, and because I'm in a community that is very active about the game, I'll probably end up putting more hours into Ultimate with my friends. But when I bro, when I was a kid, uh, I got a Wii for Brawl, and I would re- I remember just looking up at the the S- Smash Brothers Dojo for Brawl, seeing all the announcements. When Sonic got added, I was like, as even as a kid, I was popping the fuck off. Like so, it, it, it blew my ten year old mind. So in terms of tiers, where do you want to place? Uh, well, I mean, I, I guess we put each Pokemon separately. So yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, by by the way, these won't be organized with it. Do do we want to organize them within the tiers, or do you want to just like slap them in the tier where they belong? Just slap them in the tier where they belong. I I feel like okay, organizing yeah, it I would feel... go be a little overkill. Yeah. Okay. So Bulbasaur, I would say, out at bare minimum, he belongs in high at best. It's either tier. high or top to me. Uh, I, I'm I'm thinking he deserves a top tier because if if only because I think he yeah, gets he, a little he, worse with tier. each rendition. Uh, well, I'd also ex- put, for, if Bulbasaur is going in uh, top, then Ivysaur is going in top. Yeah, I agree, but I I would put Venusaur in like high tier though. I don't think Venusaur belongs in the same tier as uh, Bulbasaur, Ivysaur. You know, I think I can concede to that because he is a little. If if you look at it a certain way, he's a little ugly. Yeah. Uh. Now. Char, uh, I'm gonna have to expose myself here. Uh, Charizard is literally my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> okay, you real? I wasn't kidding when I said you were a basic bitch. You're you're really you are <laughs> extremely. It is not a basic okay. Bitch. You say you say it's the casual thing, and here is my argument against that. Uh, how can it be the most casual Pokemon when it's the most hated Pokemon of the popular Pokemon? Because. What 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 do people always say? Uh, Game Freak always gives Charizard the coolest things. Why they always pander to the Charizard bros? The so only give us- okay, listen, Neon. It doesn't count when they're o- the only reason they're hated at all is because people love them so much. <laughs> that exactly. <laughs> you don't have you defeated your own argument. Uh, l- listen, listen. Ash has a Charizard. Ash uh defeated a Charizard, and Ash defeated a Charizard to become champion. Literally, every cool thing that has ever happened in Pokemon, a Charizard has likely been uh, some somehow involved in it. He he was in Brawl. Uh, hey, Blastoise and Venusaur were not in Brawl. That's all I'm saying. 
And Charizard so was I the would... only Pokemon cool enough to survive the cut from Brawl to Smash 4 from the Pokemon trainer. So I would never put Charizard in God tier, but I, you... I will kill you if you would. do not let Charizard go in God tier. <laughs> I can concede Look, it's to a letting Charizard... Dragon. Listen, it's I can a, concede it's like to letting cool Charizard in, uh, in top or er, uh, god tier just because I'd put him somewhere around like top tier. So I guess it evens out to God, but yeah, yeah, uh, he literally no other Pokemon in the entire decks is going to rank higher for me. So I think it will average out to to God tier. Uh, Charmander is great. He, uh, I'm not, I'm not too big on Charmeleon. Charmeleon, I think Charmeleon is, is the worst. awkward. Yeah, yeah, he he's the worst middle evolution of the of the OG. Yeah, I I think he uh Charmeleon goes in pr probably in high tier cuz he's still not bad. It, it's like low high tier. Yeah, he's like worst yeah. he's mid tier, uh at best he's high tier. I feel like uh, we can go high for now cuz there's probably yeah. a lot of pokemon we can put in mid. And then I would put Charmander uh, I'd put Charmander Either at, in top tier. Yeah, I would say... I, I could I could be swayed to put him in god tier, but I think he is where he belongs. Uh, definitely the coolest thing about him throughout the, the whole concept is the flame on the tip of his tail. That's, that's just a cool-ass detail. Yeah, that's cool. Uh... Now, Squirtle. I would make an argument for same thing with Charmander, top or god. I would not put uh squirtle and god but i would be able i'm definitely less willing to put squirtle and god tier than charizard i will okay how about this i will concede that squirtle is top tier if we agree that blastoise is god tier uh hmm yeah are you gonna tell me that blastoise is not one of the coolest things you've ever seen as, as someone who said Charizard belongs in God tier. I'm saying Blastoise also belongs in God tier. He's got guns. He's a he's like he's I like know he a Digimon before Digimon. He's uh, like I mean, a Digimon I guess before I Digimon more thing. That. Honestly, I think War Turtle's kind of underrated. He's he's fucking cool as shit. I I like War Turtle. I I I you know, I've never really stopped to think about it till now. Why does he get like wings or like cloud wing ears on the top of his head? And then that just gets done away with. They just become normal ears on Blastoise. I guess what it would be is that the ears and like the tail being sort of floofy like that, they're maybe meant to represent the water that eventually Waves. gush out of his cannons. Although they do totally look maybe. like Maybe. I, I just thought they were like the, fo the sea foam waves. That actually makes more sense. Uh, but yeah, I would say War Turtle can at at worst high, at best top. Uh, well, definitely top. I'm not letting you put War Turtle in high if you're putting Blastoise uh, in God tier. Okay, yeah, we we, we can ag agree on that. But yeah, come, you you can't tell me Blastoise doesn't belong in God tier. Come on, especially in the anime. I personally where he, where he put does, Blastoise like, in top tier. Do you, you not see like in the anime where he does moves like rapid spin and he like tucks himself into a shell and he like spins around real fast and just slams his whole ass into someone? It's peak. See, I do remember that, but I don't know, man. It's and just I, a difference in taste. Trust punk, me, you're gonna bro. start. I, I feel like you're gonna start molding because I I know there's one Pokemon that I'm absolutely putting in God tier. And I have a feeling you're going to put it way lower. So we'll, we'll get to that when we get to that. Uh, I, I guess. So now we, now we get on to the bug bros. Uh, the little bug boys. Caterpie. So. Uh, the Butterfree line. I like Butterfree a lot. But the other two are definitely like. Eh, not very good. Metapod is funny. Ha ha hearted meme. But honestly. I, <laughs> I, I prefer. Well, I, I say I prefer Kakuna, but they're both not really special. They're just cocoons. They're cocoons with eyes. God, so I guess I can... I'd put Caterpie in. It's, it's either mid or low for me. 
for Caterpie. I prefer Caterpie to Weedle because he. Uh, I I like the little goofy pink nose that Weedle has, as well the the spike on the top of its head. But I I like the weird little red nose thing that Caterpie has. Uh, Weedle's just kind of the... an ugly color, honestly. Yeah, I I, I like the green because green's one of my favorite colors, and also I I love Caterpie's like. Uh, you, you never really think about it until you like actually look at a Caterpie, but it's a, it's like you stare, you big old cartoon eyes. It's like you stare into the abyss, like Caterpie stared back. I, so... I, I think Caterpie belongs in mid, right? Yeah, I'm willing to go there. So mid tier. Yeah. Metapod, Metapod is, go... is this lower piss? I, I hate to put it in piss because it's not supposed to, you know, try real hard with the with the cocoons. Hmm. God, that's I also a probably would just hate to put low low tier or piss tier. I I'd also hate to put any of the OG Pokemon in piss tier because they're well, so. Well, I, I know I, one that I'm putting in piss tier, but we'll get to that because I that. I I have like a special place in my heart for each one of them. But uh, I guess I guess we'll go uh, Metapod low tier, but definitely on the lower end, and we can put Kakuna yeah, if we... in low tier as well. For 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 the sake of uh, you know, actually like using a tier in the sake of fairness, we we can agree to put uh, like, both the both both the cocoons in low tier for now. If we somehow go out the entire list without using a piss tier, then we can. These oh, guys trust are probably me, I have one Pokemon that I'm absolutely vouching for piss tier for. But I can't wait uh, for it to be Pikachu. It's n <laughs> uh, Butterfree definitely uh, goes in high yeah, tier. Yeah, Weedle can also go in low tier. You yeah, said Weedle we goes we in low tier. We said Weedle low tier, right? Yeah. Yeah, Weedle low tier okay. and Butterfree. I'm I'm gun uh, gunning for high tier on Butter th uh, Butterfree. Um, I could agree with that depending on where you say Beedrill belongs. Uh, I think Beedrill I would say is just Beedrill ever is so slightly. Tier. Yeah, I, I think Beedrill is a little better than Butterfree, but Butterf Butterfree is so pretty. Like they're they're close to me, but I th you, I think you Butterfree. Are right. Butterfree is really okay. I, I'm pretty. thinking Butterfree high tier, Beedrill top tier. Yeah, I'm willing to go with that. Okay, the the Pidgey line. Uh, uh, well, Pidgey's Pidgey? name is shit. Yeah, Pidgey low tier. Yeah, I'm absolutely willing it's... to go low tier on Pidgey. It's, yeah, he's it's, just it's, an it's angry iconic bird. He is an angry bird. Uh, but uh, Pidgeotto, it's a I, a little better. I would put Pidgeotto in mid tier. It's just like a basic. It's it's a yeah. I I'd put the, honestly, I'd put I like both the red Pidgeotto and Pidgeot in mid tier. Because uh, I would say so. Mm, my my Pidgeot qualm with in Pidgeot. High Nah, so my qualm with Pidgey or Pidgeot all these years is that he he just looks so similar to Pidgeotto. The only difference is that he's bigger and he's got longer hair, and to, that's always stuck out as weird to me. They're just yeah, so it, similar. Yeah, it is lame how he's just a bigger Pidgeotto. It's, it's so lame. And so I'm at, I'm at least Pidgeotto for both of them in the going from Pidgey to Pidgeotto. I actually you, like Pidgeotto added... more than Pidgeot. I think Pidgey Pidgeotto <laughs> looks kind of I, I, cool, I like the red and the scrappy. yellow of his hair. I, I like the I like how I like how the boldness of the red and yellow. But uh, I, I guess, if, if you don't want to put Pidgeot in high tier, I, I'm fine with slotting them both in mid tier. I, I think they both belong there. Okay, uh, the Rattata line. I've I've uh, never held too much love for Rattata, honestly. My only good memories with Rattata and Raticate are Gary's Raticate. The <laughs> remember the kill. theory that his ra uh, Raticate died, and that's why he was in the Lavender Town Tower. Uh, yeah, God, that, I, that I, is I, epic. How you 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 kill you kill his Raticate. That that is very <laughs> funny, and it's what Gary deserves. Yeah, so um, but they, honestly, they probably just... both go in low tier. Yeah, like I think the worst part about Raticate is that it it just looks like a big rat. It's, it's like just not even the, the 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 only like fantastical thing about it is uh it's like the big biter teeth, but 
that's that's it yeah uh definitely low tier so yeah. oh god spiro and firo so the problem with spiro is spiro... It, this one deserves a middle evolution it's weird that that does that they this one does not have I a think middle evolution. Firo should be the middle evolution because Firo looks kind of ugly. Not gonna lie, I I I, I, like I think there should be a middle evolution between Spiro and Firo. I feel like we jumped, we we skipped a step. But I don't like Firo. That's the issue. <laughs> I don't like Firo either. So I want. Because I like Spiro's design a lot, actually. I, I like Spiro's design way more than Pidgey. But I wouldn't say I like Fear it way more. I would say it's definitely better than Pidgey, but I wouldn't say it's like, oh, it's, a, it's like a massive upgrade. I do also have good memories of Spiro from his obstacle hop in the Meadow Zone once again. So maybe that's swinging me a little bit, but... Yeah, I mean, I I like Spiro. I'd be willing to put him like upper mid tier, not quite high tier, but yeah, I still I'm, like him a lot. I would say Spiro belongs in mid tier, but Firo, I'm, I'm also not a Firo fan. Uh, I I like it. Yeah, Firo dumb, is thin, neck, definitely low tier. Beak longer than its head. Yeah, low tier. His proportions uh, are just goofy. Yeah, Snake and Cobra. Uh, so Ekans I don't really like, but I, Arbok absolutely goes way oh, Ar up Arbok there. fucks. Ar Arba Arbok, Arbok has unprotected sex. Is so cool. And sometimes does not ask for consent, but you know what? He gets away with it. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know okay, why well, that got I... me so much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, there's. Uh, I'm not saying that I've seen it because I would not seek it out. But I, knowing the internet, I can only imagine that there's some less than wholesome artwork out there of Arvok having exactly what I described with some po pokey girls. Uh, well, a lot of so okay, Atkins... Arvok used constrict, and it was in fact super effective. So Atkins, I'd be willing to put in mid tier, but. Yeah, Arbok, Ekans got a stupid hand. face. <laughs> look at this look at this dumb gaping mouth. Ekans kind of dorky looking. Yeah. Is it is Arbok, it mid or low I would, tier? I think it's mid tier. I don't think it's quite as bad as uh, But it's not as good. I don't know. I'm I'm looking at everyone in mid tier and, and mid -tier. I like them all more than Ekans. Okay, I think we're going low tier, even though Atkins is probably my favorite of the low tier. Yeah, but uh, Arbok, that, that, that's a bro. Arbok is top tier. Top tier. It, oh, is, but is he god tier, though? Honestly, Arbok has the best case of god tier so far to me. So yeah, I feel like I'd be like, willing. Dude, like, I'd be willing it, to have his. Him his. There. I, I, I'm just setting him down for right now. His design is so fucking cool because he's got a face like below his face to you that they use to intimidate his prey, and that that's like such a cool animal thing in Pokemon that we don't often like see too much anymore. You know what? And they were thinking I'm about this to, shit. I'm willing to go God tier for Arbok. I'm, I'm willing. I I think Arbok's fucking cool. All right, now now we get the controversial one, Pikachu. Where where does the mascot belong? So first of all, uh, pretending that Johto is on this list, right? Let's look at Pichu, Pikachu, and Raichu. Pikachu's the worst of the three. I I like oh, Pikachu. Uh, Pichu's mm. adorable, and Raichu. I, I don't is I don't the like best. Raichu. I I you don't I, like Raichu? I feel like they did not. I I don't like Raichu. I feel like uh. He got he he was made good when he got his Alolan form where he just surfs on his own tail. But, well, that's uh, cool as hell. But original OG Raichu is cool. Come on, cool uh, and cute. I I, I like I Raichu don't, a lot. I don't dislike Raichu. I definitely like it the least of the three lines of Pikachu. Uh, there there are cool things, but I like that he he shifts from a yellow to an orange, and I like how. His tail uh, maintains I love like, a sharp tail so much. Yeah, it's, Dude, it's got it's a like... sharp thunderbolt as opposed to like the zigzaggy one, but also now, but also has like the. But long it's on a mouse tail. tail now. 
So he actually, yeah. uh, first of all, looks way more like a mouse now. And, you know, he can, it, it, it just looks like he could swing that tail around and fucking stab you with it. So cool. <laughs> okay if, it, see if raichu stabbed a motherfucker with his tail in the anime then i would be I that would be a different cool tune but uh i feel like but right no i i think raichu goes in high tier high t- mm. okay I'll, I'll agree with you on the basis that i think raichu is cooler than all the pokemon in mid tier so far now as for pikachu though i don't i would not put him in god tier no matter how m- much the Pokemon company would do so on off principle. By his like very nature, I would say it's impossible to put him anything lower than high tier because he is such a effective mascot. Yeah. I... See, I like Raichu way more than Pikachu, but I can't I don't have it in my heart to put Pikachu in mid tier along with Caterpie. No, I, I would. I, I feel like I feel like my th- this browser would physically prevent me from putting Pikachu <laughs> lower than high tier. Then I'd put Pikachu like in lower lower high tier, pretending it, like with the knowledge in mind that Raichu is in the upper echelons of high tier. To me, at okay. Least. All right, so uh, All right, the, so the Sand Shoe line, Sand Slash God tier. Sand Slash is so not, cool. Come on, Sand Slash is Sandshrew cool. Sand Slash. I would not I put it in God tier. I would say Sand I would Slash say top God tier. There, mm, no, hold on. There's a a Pokemon Sandshrew on this top list. Top tier, Sand that, Slash God tier. I, hold on. There is a Pokemon on this list that we will get to uh, that is going to do what Sand Slash does, but cooler. Where are you talking about, like Nido King or something? No. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you, you'll, you'll probably. Uh, uh, okay, well, I'll, I'll spoil it. Scyther. Scyther is a cooler Sand Slash. No, I like Sand Slash way more than Scyther. Oh, the fuck? You're, you're crazy. He, they've both got blade arms, which is badass, but uh, while he's just a hedgehog, uh, Scyther, just, I guess, since we're already talking about him, I'll uh, San- yeah, he's Scyther- got sword arms, motherfucker. And he, he, and he can fly, and he's green. He's like a he's, he's like a, a the, he he's like a cool praying mantis. Like praying mantises in real life are scary, and I suppose if I saw this thing coming at me in real life, I would shit myself. But you know, in in Pokemon world, this is just so cool. But see, I feel like this is where we're going to get to the the big split between our taste, because you seem to like the super cool Pokemon. Uh, I like the cute ones, and I've always liked the cute I... ones. And to me, Sand I like Slash the cute ones is too. See, I, I know Sand you Slash like is, I, the well, Sand Shrew is cute. Sand Slash is Sand not Shrew so is cute. adorable. Sand Sand Slash is obviously like mostly just cool and badass, but he's like to me the perfect mix of a little cute but a little badass, and both of them together just it he's perfect. I I li- I like him. I do like him. I just don't think he's god tier considering. A Scyther is just a cooler Sand Slash, and B he. I don't does not think Scyther is a cooler off, Sand does, Slash. I think I think Sand he, Slash is way cooler than Scyther. He does not give off the same energy as Charizard, Blastoise, and Arbok. I mean, I prefer him to to Charizard and Blastoise. So there you go. That that's crazy. Okay, well, all right, first things first. Uh, Sandshrew, where does Sandshrew belong? Uh, I mean, I think we can both say top tier for this one. He's adorable. He is adorable, and I, 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 I feel like what is holding me back is that I, I know that Sandshrew and Sandslash can like curl up into little balls, but for some reason the Pokemon animations in the games they don't really portray that often, if at all. That is very sad. Cause like that, I, cause I feel like if they did that, I'd be like, oh, okay, I, I like they're. They're using their designs in a cool way, so I will like. I'm now more inclined to like them, but they don't, and I feel like it's it's that wasted potential that's what is putting me, keeping me from putting them any higher. I would say, Sandshrew is at minimum high tier, at best top tier, but I would I would sooner put Sandshrew in high tier than I would top tier. I would sooner put Sandshrew in top tier than high tier. Uh. 
Okay, is is Sandshrew better than all of the Pokemon in high tier? Hell yeah. All right, I'll, I'll I'll concede you that one if you concede that Sand Slash is uh will go right next to him. I will very dis discontentedly concede it, but in my heart of hearts, Sand Slash goes in God tier. All right, uh, the all right, the Nido Ran and the Nido Rin series. Oh, so no, I no, no wait, it's a boy girl, and then it just goes on to King yeah. and Queen. So I I. I get the feeling that most people really like these two Pokemon. Uh, I am not one of them. I don't dislike them, but I've, I've always just thought they were fine. You know, they, they're okay. They're kind of cool looking. Uh, I, I, I have to flex my, uh, you know, m men superior to women uh, agenda here and say that Nido King, definitely cooler than Nido Queen. Yeah. Uh... I don't know, I just don't have any strong feelings about them. I, I guess I what I like most about them is that if you're thinking of Pokemon as creatures distinct from animals, then this line these two lines are perfect. Because although they bear resemblance to some animals, at the same time they're entirely different. And yeah, so the because other they, ones so far have all you, you been. You could mistake very... them for like field mice or like little like rat things, but then they evolve into kaijus. Yeah, and so, the, of all the Pokemon on the list so far, they're the ones most removed from any pre-existing animal. And we do get a bit and, more of that uh, as we go and on. And, like, it, it's crazy to think about this when it, it was, like, the first time they did this, but uh, they, they kind of set the, the template for po dividing Pokemon by gender, because they, they can... Nidoran have the same name, but... Uh, Purple is a boy, blue is a girl, and then they evolve into, you know, Nido Reno, Nido King, Nido Reno, Nido Queen. Although what I find very funny is that because this was before boy and girl Pokemon were added, uh, Nidoran male and Nidoran female are two separate species instead of a split evolution line where Nidoran male can only be male and Nidoran female can only be female. It's <laughs> hilarious. Oh, Honestly, we, for we, that we alone, not, uh, I'd be willing to <laughs> I'd be willing to put them like a space <laughs> higher than I would otherwise, because I just like the idea that Nidoran, uh, male and female, are trolling the game by their mere existence. <laughs> yeah, so I, I guess we'll start with uh with the female line. Um, I'm not too big on Nidoran female. Uh, I would say mid tier at best. Yeah, mid tier. Uh, that sounds good. And Nido Arena, I would say Nido Arena, same thing. also also mid tier. Nido Queen, I'd put in <sighs> at best it's high I... tier. <sighs> That's at best, but I feel like it also goes in mid. Yeah, I don't like I'm Nido Queen nearly as much as any of those other Pokemon. Uh, yeah, then... I, I I like the purple line way better. Not not just because I I like the color that it has better, but I I like how fierce it looks. I like the spikes. Uh, well, I put Nidoran male in mid tier still. Honestly, same true. with Nidor or Nidorino. Yeah, also true. But uh, Nido King, he he gets a uh, he gets the bump. Just barely had oh, put him in high tier, but uh, okay, yeah, well, like I said, I I really don't have strong feelings about this line. Yeah, I, I I don't. I just think Nido King looks cool, but I don't have any like attachment to this line. Uh, they're they're like poison type, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah, Are they? I, I'm pretty sure. I'm I'm doubting myself now. Is well, because like what else King type? Because they can't be just normal a type. Poison type. I'm pretty uh, okay. Sure Nido King type. is poison ground. Okay, all right. Yeah, that that makes sense. Uh, okay. The Clefairy line. Uh, this is the Beta Jigglypuff. So Clefairy was originally supposed to be the mascot instead of Pikachu, but they thought Clefable oh, was too God. girly. Bro, <laughs> Jigglypuff would make a better mascot than Clefairy. 
But see, I think Clefairy, although not a good mascot, I'm glad we got Pikachu as the mascot. Clefairy's adorable. It is, it is cute, but I feel, I, I, I look at Clefairy and Clefable, and I look at Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff, and I see, like, this is the beta, this is the, the perfected version. This is, like, version 1.0, this is, like, 0.5. Well, see, Jiggly, Jigglypuff is, like, elevated by just the anime. <laughs> That's, like, 90% yeah, oh, of what's elevating Jigglypuff. True. But that and Smash Brothers. <laughs> Although Wigglytuff, uh, this is way ahead. But god damn, I have yeah, a well, lot well, of memories Yeah, let's stick with Wigglytuff. Clefairy right now. Alright, so Clefairy, um, I, I'd be willing to put in high tier. I think Clefairy is just really <sighs> cute. Uh, I like Clefable a little more just because of the wings, even though... I like Clefable that's the only thing's... a little less, actually. Uh, I think Clefairy's well, cuter. I like the wings that Clefable gets, but uh, it, it, outside of that, it's literally just bigger Clefairy. Uh, I, I like Cleffa the most because I like the uh, the smallness of it. I, I like uh, Cleffa's like a little ball. I can like dribble it like a basketball and like <laughs> slam dunker through a hoop. Uh, I mean, I think Clefairy goes in high tier and Clefable goes in mid tier. Honestly, uh, I'd put them both in mid. Cause like I I don't like any of these Pokemon in high tier more than Clef as much as I do. Uh, well, I like all the Pokemon in high tier more than I do Clefairy. I don't think Clefairy belongs there. Uh, I think it does, but you know what? I'm willing to put Clefairy in mid. Yeah, they they can they can both go in mid as long as Clefairy is also there. Yeah, uh, Cle uh, not Clefairy. Volpix and Nine Tails though, these are cool guys. Uh, I absolutely love Nine Tails. Nine Tails is so regal and gorgeous. Yeah, Nine Tails is one of those Pokemon where I wish it was real so I could keep it as a pet. God, Nine Tails would be such a good pet, except for the fact Bro, that I'm, it would imagine snuggling your house. up to your Nine Tails on a cold winter's day, and you just get you all, all the floofiness of the tail, and it keeps you warm because it's a fire type. God, so Vulpix is also adorable. So I'm willing to go Vulpix high tier at at the very least. Uh, you know, yeah, high tier sounds I, good. I, to I will. Yeah, I'll agree with that. And then Nine Tails top tier because I I yeah, don't. It, it's very regal, but I feel like it's just like one step. It's not quite as tier. good as Arbok and uh Sand Slash, but you know, Neon Neon is lame, so <laughs> <laughs> there's just a better Sand Slash. Yeah, but yeah, top Nine Tails is definitely love the regal vibes it's got. Jigglypuff, I would say we, if it weren't for the anime, it wouldn't uh, rank like very highly. But because of both the anime and Smash Brothers, I kind of feel like I have to put it in god tier. Because like Jigglypuff Jigglypuff's not just a -tier. okay. Jigglypuff is not just a Pokemon; it's a character. We'll see. Because I Jigglypuff will, uh, will put you to sleep with its song and then draw funny faces on you with a sharpie, and that's fucking hilarious. See, th the thing holding me back about Jigglypuff is that I don't. Uh, now, I don't dislike Jigglypuff's design, but I think Wigglytuff is way cuter. And also, I would definitely would much rather li like to give a hug to a Wigglytuff because that Wigglytuff will give a mean ass hug back. But uh, see, Jigglypuff, uh, I want like, to. I have the. I want to tie Jigglypuff to the end of a string and just carry it around like a balloon. But see, you're, you're attached to Jigglypuff because of the anime. But I'm attached to Wiggly and uh, Wigglytuff, and, and Smash. But I'm attached to Wigglytuff because of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Same, Wigglytuff same. is the leader of the the guild. Yeah, and explores. Yeah, of time and explores and time and darkness. And he's just a fucking weirdo. He's just yeah. He he's, and, and he's also like the str He's also kind of like the strongest life form. He, he he's like the Gojo of the <laughs> of the mystery dungeon universe. Yeah. So, uh, there's I'm not letting you put this. Jigglypuff is the one Pokemon where I'm putting my foot down and saying no. You're not putting it in God uh. tier. Top tier it is. Okay, well, I bet if you played Smash Brothers like like I do, you you would be singing a different tune. Have you have you ever up be sing interested someone before? 
and they watch as they frantically try to mash out of sleep, only for you to end their hopes and dreams with a single down B. No, I have not done that. Off. Although, okay, the, that, my see, most that, experience that, with why... Jigglypuff and Smash is uh, knowing about H Box. Uh, that, yeah, that's see, the extent of my knowledge. You have not reached enlightenment about Jigglypuff, so that's why I'll concede for not giving a god tier. But it will, I will say it, it, it will have to go on top as c consolation. I will also put Wigglytuff in top tier as well to, to placate. Yeah. All right. Zubat and Golbat, piss tier. You don't like the Zubat line? I like Crobat a lot. Crobat is cool as shit, but this is Gen 1, so there's literally- You're telling me you're- uh, it, Has anyone ever said the sentence, I want to catch a Zubat so I can evolve it into a Golbat before? Uh, has no, anyone no in the has, universe because... said that sentence? Uh, no, but I- I, I think they're- I like their designs too much to put them in shit I don't. Here. I- I, 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 Zubat's eyes are so cool because they're not really eyes, they're ears that he uses to echolocate through sonar. I mean, Zubat literally, does Zubat have eyes? D those aren't eyes, bro. Those are like ear yeah, eyes, I ear holes. Hold on. Yeah, I know they're ears. That's why I'm saying Zubat doesn't have eyes. Exactly. That, the, like, it kind of looks like it has eyes. That, that, that alone keeps it out of shit tier because that, that's cool. I don't think that's cool whatsoever. I mean, I, I've n <laughs> never even thought about them as eyes. They're, they're ears. Well, yeah, but, like, if you look at the... The, uh, uh, the how inside, I guess they kind of look like uh Yeah, because, like, pupils. Yeah, the, the darker little round part here is, like, the pupil, and then the, uh, the outer lighter purple is, like, the cornea. It's like, it, you, like, you, on first glance, they're like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah kind of like eyes, but then you, like, look at, actually look at, and you realize... Oh, those are ears. That doesn't actually have eyes, but because it's a bat, it uses sonar, and that's fucking cool. I don't think that's even remotely. I mean, it's a little cool once you point it out. But you, you can't tell me Zubat is better than Metapod and Kakuna. Uh, we'll see. Zubat's also just fucking annoying because it's the only thing you run into in caves half the time. Well, okay, yeah, it got, it got a bad rap, but like you know, if 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 if, if Oddish was the one you ran into, Oddish would have that reputation, so you can't exactly hold th that against. Yeah, it. but Zubat is <laughs> Zubat is the one you run into, though. That's the issue. I, I mean, I do I do have the Zubat cry permanently ingrained into my brain. Like I. I just looking at this still image of the Pokemon, I hear the cry so like p pitch perfect in my head. Dude, you literally and said it Zubat cry some and it immediately played in my head. PTSD. Yeah. The ow, ow. I, I obviously I can't replicate it because I'm not a machine. Yeah. But uh, it, yeah, see, the high pitch screech. Part of it, half of it is that Golbat's just kind of lame. Golbat Gol is kind of lame because just. Okay, it having eyes is super lame. It um, somewhat makes up for it though with the goofy ass, a uh, goofy at mouth and its weird little like nub feet. I do I not think like the feet funny. very much. It lo it looks like a Dragon Quest monster more than like a Pokemon, and I kind of like that. But yeah, I definitely think oh. Cro Crobat was a much needed uh addition to its line. Dude, the the only reason anyone is catching Zubat is for Crobat. Let's be real, because yeah, I mean, like, no, no, Crobat no, like, is like bo pretty much. A, I mean, I'd put Crobat in God tier, but this is not the Johto. Oh, uh, I wouldn't say God tier. He's not that good. There are cooler <laughs> Bro, bat Pokemon in Pokemon. There are cooler bat Pokemon in Pokemon. All right, name one. Uh, the Noivern line. Uh, Noivern. Noivern is actually really cool. Although it's been um, ages since I've thought about Noivern. Oh uh, yeah, Noi Noivern uh, is cool. I, okay, if, you, if you're gonna put your foot down about Jigglypuff, I'm putting my foot down on Zubat not being in piss tier. Right, I can, I can concede to Zubat and Golbat being low tier. Yes. Uh, uh Oddish. Uh, also not that good. 
Honestly, okay, hold like on. Vile Plume is very them. cool. I I really like Vile Plume. I am not extremely partial to Vile Plume. I, I mean, like I its little nub nub arms and nub feet, plume. and I like that it's it, it, look, look at the way it tilts its flower like a hat, like like, like a fucking sombrero. That's definitely would, the coolest would part about it. Yeah, they would they would go on to perfect this like idea with uh whatchamacallit, uh, like, the the low-tad line where Ludicolo just is straight-up uh, Hispanic, but I, I, li I like the Vile Plume hat. Uh, I mean, I guess I can concede to Vile Plume being a bit higher, but Oddish and Gloom, uh, Oddish uh, should definitely put I don't low like... tier. Okay, I will make a, con a concession for Gloom going into being our first actual piss tier, because I've never liked Gloom. Hmm. Well, then let me get a I I feel like good I feel like I would like Gloom, Gloom more if they kept on to the idea of like Oddish going from this happy little little shrub guy to this gross uh you know budding stinky flower guy uh into like keeping up with the you know gross stinky flower aesthetic but we keep the stinky flower, but it's actually kind of pretty looking. And then he goes back to his like. Well, see, Vile Plume's flower is based on actually a real flower that stinks yeah, that's really like badly. As fuck. Yeah, yeah, I know that. But like, they maintain the the cuteness of it. They like Oddish and Vile Plume have the same face. Gloom does not. Like Gloom has lips. Where did the lip? Why did we go from having lips to having no lips? Honestly, I think the lips are like the ugliest part about it. <laughs> yeah, I hate that. Like, having nothing lips. about this is a vibe. You know, I think Gloom I... would be. You, you want to know what Gloom is missing? Gloom is missing that sort of like uh, almost sis sinister happiness to it. I feel like that would make it better. Where it wasn't if it was more gloomy. like a like a like like a prankster like a oh, yeah I can't something wait to... like that. Where it's a dying flower, but it's also like. It, it, it's just kind of a trickster, you know. Yeah, but, but I as cannot stands, bring myself to put it. At at best, it's low it, tier. It can, at worst, you know what? I, I'm willing to put gloom and piss tier. Okay, but uh, as for Oddish and Vile Plume, though, I would say Oddish, Oddish can go is in low mid tier. I think. Mm, I, Oddish I is cute Oddish though. Uh, yeah. Okay, his cute. Look that at that little face. Cute. Imagine like take, even grabbing him cute. by the leaves and holding him up and like watching him kick his little legs in in in, in futile protest. To be fair, I was uh, I was looking up Oddish and the plush version of Oddish does look kind of cute, but I don't know the uh, the Pokemon itself is just never rendered. I mean, in that no one wants to way. keep an Oddish. They want to get into a vile plume as soon as they can. But I Oddish is. Design is cute, and I, I like how like the green of its uh leaves make it kind of look like a bit of hair, and I love its cute little blueberry body with little you know Kirby feet. And well, see, the, the issue is that <laughs> the the issue with the Oddish line and with Vile Plume is I'm just gonna get to a Bell Awesome as soon as possible, oh, yeah, and awesome since is this is Gen one. one, I'm just not gonna catch an Oddish. I mean, well, we're we're under the assumption that like we're catching them well, well, well but we're under two things like one like who would we most want to like well actually not competitive like who would we like to have on our team not because of you know competitiveness but because like we just think they are cool and because we have like, like good to taste yeah but uh like th this is also under the assumption that we're we're like l cataloging all of the pokemon like we've filled out the pokedex all 151 entries and like these this is the vibe check and like, right. glue, I, I like, guess I, I can concede uh, to Oddish being in mid tier, and yeah. then Vile Plume. Oh god, I have no to higher that, than yeah. high tier, but I would not put Vile Plume in high tier. Personally. I got, I gotta zoom out the page a little now. There we go. Okay. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah. As for, oh, well, hold on. Now I have to readjust this in the recording. The, okay, there we go. Alright, uh, Vileplume, uh, he goes... 
he has to rank higher than Oddish, right? Because the the flower and the like the cool guy factor of it. See, he does rank higher than Oddish, but see, I'd personally put Oddish in low and Vile Plume in mid. That'd be my solution to the problem. <sighs> okay, if you if you're willing, I I would say Vile Plume in, in a high at most. But if you're willing to compromise to put Oddish in mid, I'll compromise and drop Vile Plume to mid. There we go. Uh, Paris and Parasec. I think Paris is... Here, let me get a bigger image of Paris up just to make sure I haven't... Yeah. Paris is, like, almost cute because of the mm, big bug I would eyes. I say Paris is cute. I said almost cute because, like, if you just look at the face alone, you're like, oh, this probably is a pretty cute bug Pokemon, but then you sort of refocus your eyes and take in the whole picture. It's like, yeah, oh. I look at its eyes, and I hate how it's staring back at me, and then I also look at the mouth, and I'm like, no. <laughs> I think Paris is just all sorts of unpleasant. I think Paris is even uglier than Gloom, honestly. Mm. <clears throat> well, see, at least Paris has, like, a, a concept to it, because it's a bug, that's being taken over by an uh, invasive fungi that comes full circle with Parasect, where the life is completely drained from its eyes. Well, see, I do, I do... It is now more bug... It is now more fungus than bug. See, I, I like Parasect's concept, and I even think that... Uh, I, I'd put Parasect, like, uh, definitely higher than Paris, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. But still not particularly high... I would say Paris low tier, if only because like I like the concept, but I hate, uh, I still hate looking at it. Yeah, I mean, I, like, I it, hate it, looking it, it at is, Paris. It escapes, it escapes shit tier based on the concept alone, I think. You know, I, I'm willing to put that as just one saving grace, and then Parasect's mid tier. Uh, let, let me look at everyone in high tier and look at Parasect. Yeah, There's I guess no way Parasect goes in high tier. I it, well, see this one like it's uh, 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 obviously lost all cuteness to it, and that you could even remotely be gleamed from Paris. But it's it, the the cuteness is drastically overtaken by the coolness because you think about Parasect and you're like, wow, shit's fucked. But see, Parasect was done better, like, <laughs> uh. Fucking in Gen Five with Crustle, granted, it's like a completely different concept. But yeah, the that's idea a different a concept, crab, though. Yeah, but the idea with a uh, of a crab with like a thing on its body, uh, you know, uh, to me, like uh, Crustle is just a cooler version of Parasect. I I do like Crustle over Parasect, mainly because he was my main in uh, Pokemon Unite for the few months that I played Dude, Parasect it. Parasect has an entire chunk, or not Parasect. Crustle has an entire chunk of earth on him he is literally carrying the weight of the earth that is that is he, he, so did, cool. he did let me run the crustle hustle in unite i i, I did <laughs> shell smash like a motherfucker so yeah i i guess parasite can stay there uh the venonat and venomoth venonat is absolutely adorable uh i i, I... really like venonat but he, venomoth... you know he reminds you know what he reminds me of have you ever seen uh, the Barnyard movie before? No. Oh, okay, well, then, never mind. I was gonna say he looks like the little, you know, freaky ball of hair with, like, uh, little arms and feet picking out, sticking out that just, like, dances a bunch. You never see what's underneath it, but... Uh, I, I, yeah, Ven and I love the, the furriness, the roundness, and the bugness to it all. See, I like Venonat a lot, but then you get to Venomoth, and it's like the soul has been wrung dry from the evolution <laughs> line. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's it, literally it's, it's soul versus soulless. He, it's like it's a worse Butterfree. It's it's Butterfree, but cringe. So I'd be willing to yeah. Put they they Venom they drained all the color from it. It's like you they hooked up a tube to Ven to Venonat, and they like drained out the color. I think Venonat should go in high tier, but then Venomoth should. Definitely mid at the highest for Venomoth. I like. Mm, let me. Okay. Well, first of all, yeah, Venonat needs to be in the upper echelon. I would say, is it high tier for Venonat. Yeah, high tier, absolutely. Yeah, Venonat's then, adorable. Venomoth is mid at best, low at worst. Uh, let me. I'd let be me willing to go low just for the merit of 
completely draining what should be an adorable moth Pokemon of all of its life and color. I feel like being the murderer behind that is enough to get it in low for me. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Okay, now we enter uh, the what if this Pokemon but more of them uh, line of Pokemon. Diglett and Dugtrio. See, Diglett and Dugtrio are just an inherently funny design. And also, <laughs> <laughs> right before I, I, I really like... Okay, um, r r I know Magnemite's not going to show up for a while, but I'm not, I'm not a big fan of Magneton. I like the concept of them becoming a new Pokemon just from the aspect of they, two Magnemite found each other, er, found a third one, and they just magnetize together and they can't get unstuck, so that's just their life now. But Dig Dugchio is funny because it's just two Diglett that showed up and uh, could uh, theoretically leave at any time. They just choose not to. Like I like all the images of like reason. what's under the Doug Trio and it's like this huge buff body. <laughs> there's, this, there's this one video of some dude at a convention and he's cosplaying as Diglett. And so it's just this super buff dude in shorts with a, a fucking Diglett mask on. <laughs> so good. Yeah, if you if you ever needed to teach your Pokemon Dig, this is the the Dig Pokemon. But yeah, I mean, I, I have memories of catching Doug Trio right before Lieutenant Surge. There's like a very slim chance of getting a level 30 Doug Trio, I think, in that uh, fucking one cave uh, right before Lieutenant Surge. I'm not sure if it was a cave, but some place where you can get a, a, a super beefy Doug Trio to take on Lieutenant Surge. And he became a mainstay of my team after that because he was just so good. Yeah, was it was it a Diglett or a Doug Trio in the gate in in the Explorers of Time Darkness game that uh oh checked out who it was by looking at your feet? Uh, I think it was Diglett. Okay. Hold on, was it? Uh, I... God, now I'm not sure. It, it's been a while since I played those games. Yeah, it, it's been a, a hefty while, but but. Diglett is simple, uh, but a funny. It's it's like it's like the epitome of less is more. I think Diglett and Doug Trio are both pretty great. Uh, Doug Trio a little more just because it's funny. Yeah, it's just I, funny I, I to think about. The... Yeah, I I, I also I, love in the anime how they just go trio trio trio. That will <laughs> like never their leave voice my gets head. deeper. <laughs> um, I would say they belong in. At worst, high tier. At best, top tier. Hmm. I'm thinking high tier. I think high tier for the both of them is fitting. Yeah. Alright, the Meowth line. Hmm. Uh, I like Meowth a lot, but then we get to Persian, and it's like... Oh, well, soul now the soul, soul is gone. Again. It's soul yeah. versus soulless again. It's not as bad as Venonat, uh, Venonat to Venomoth, but because it's just, uh, at, at least they, like, I, I would still would like to have a Persian in real life just have a, a big fucking cat. Because uh, fucking Giovanni always had a Persian, and he would always, like, sit on his lap like a, like a mob boss cat. Yeah, see, it, uh, I think the best... Well, first of all, Meowth and Persian are both uh, made better by the anime because... Yeah, you, Me you Meowth especially. This, yeah, Meowth especially, but even Persian right there being, you know, Giovanni's cat. And, you know, you, you see it, uh, the almost regal Persian, and then you contrast that with Meowth, who's just this little scrunklo. Just, <laughs> he is a little scrunklo, isn't he? <laughs> he is. Uh, so... Yeah, I I would say Meowth. Same s similar thing to Diglett at worst high tier at best top tier. I'd be willing to go top tier for Meowth. I think Meowth is. Yeah, I, I'd say the anime puts him into into top tier. Me Meowth, that's right. Meowth is such a scrunklo, and then Persian is mid. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, the Psyduck line. So. Here's where we get to some of the, the good memories. So, Psyduck was my first shiny Pokemon. 
I got them in Pokemon X and Y way back in the day. And so, and I still have him. And he's named Ducky Mabry because back when I was three years old, I tried to say documentary once, but it came out as Ducky Mabry. And so, and my parents just kept on telling the story and I, it got implanted in my head. And so when it came <laughs> around to naming my Psyduck, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to name it Ducky Mabry. And so, uh, but the thing is, Shiny Golduck is just a slightly different blue. Whereas, you know, Psyduck is a completely different color. So I didn't evolve my Psyduck the entire game, even though it was super weak by the end and would constantly get KO'd. I was still like, no, he's going to be the highest level on my team. And he's going to be a he's level never 100 going to Psyduck. I did try to get it at, uh, to level 100. I think I stopped around like 78. But so I, I have uh, a lot of good memories with Psyduck. I, I <laughs> love Psyduck. For for the sake of just judging the Pokemon as is, I'm ele electing to not take into account shiny Pokemon because then I I would also I don't know what all the shiny Pokemon look like, so I'd have to cross reference, and that would take. Well, way I'm not too going long. off of uh necessarily the design of the shiny, but more so the memories therein of having uh okay. a, a fucking Psyduck on my team because that on okay. its own, and also Psyduck's just such a dork. He's so dorky looking. Psyduck is a dork. I, I'll, I will give that. I like. I like the idea that it's uh, it's so young that it's it, its brain cannot handle its psychic powers, and so it just constantly has a headache. And then the anime is just going sigh, I, I, like constantly in pain. Yeah. So I mean, I'm settling for nothing less than top tier for Psyduck. Uh, I really like Psyduck. I like him too. I. Here's the weird thing that like I'm I'm feeling right now, I feel like, I off just by looking at them I like Golduck's design more, but I like Psyduck more than Golduck. See, I I don't like Golduck all that much. Uh, it's still a fine design. I don't dislike it or anything. I I, I feel Psyduck's like the problem with so with, with Golduck is that it loses the 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 character of Psyduck now and and it just looks like a bigger duck. Like, yeah, well, Psyduck, Psyduck not, not has to say not, not in the same way that like uh uh w w like Clefable is bigger Clefairy, uh, because there they, there is enough difference between Psyduck and Golduck to make it uh stand out. But I feel like you could swap it out with a different like blue. If you made Psyduck blue and took away its a uh, headache thing, then you could be like, oh, okay, yeah, that would make sense, but. It feels weird to take away the character. Yeah, I mean th that's the thing. Psyduck also has character. He has charm. Yeah, like I I, I like how stanced up Soul. Golduck is, but they I, I they took away what made Psyduck cool. I think Psyduck top tier and Golduck probably either upper mid or high tier. Uh, I would say Golduck mid. Uh, I'm and okay with that. I'm I'm fighting Psyduck. tooth and nail to get Psyduck in top tier. Okay, well he, he 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 you have the story with him, so based on your Ducky Mabra thing alone, I'll 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 give you a top tier. Uh, the Mankey line. Uh, I do not have especially strong feelings for either of them. Um, I feel like they did not hit their stride until uh, what was it? Was it? This the most, Scarlet Violet or Sword and Shield where they introduced uh what what's the, Berser, the Berserk Ape or whatever it's called I don't know anything that <laughs> at like any of the Pokemon in Sword and Shield or Scarlet and Violet I completely on, I, tapped out of Pokemon by that Prime point. Ape Evolution what's it called Annihilate okay yeah Annihilate goes hard. I, I, I like how I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at Annihilate. Oh, that's okay. cool. That's really cool. Yeah. Okay. And, and you know what's cool about Annihilate? Uh, it's a ghost have, fighting. Uh, that. But do you know how to, you uh, evolve Primeape into Annihilate? How do you? Uh, you have to use the move Rage Fist twenty times in battle, and then you can level it up. Like twenty times in the same battle, or just twenty times? Period. 
I think 20 times, period. Let me uh, fact check that real quick, because I know if you get anything wrong about Pokemon, people will be so quick to fucking correct you. Uh, shibidi ba 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 da And then this means I'll have to make sure to finish. I went to the Pokemon City to meet just 20 times and leveled up in my private. Hold on. Okay, let me fact check this real quick. Uh, I'm just, <laughs> according to Polygon, do everything all at once, meaning you don't go to the Pokemon Center at all between using Rage Fist 20 times and then leveling Primeape afterwards. So you have to, uh, pretty easy, Primeape will still evolve if you use the movement, it has no effect. Okay, so you do have to use 20 times in one battle and then also level up the Pokemon. So the trick is to just find a normal type Pokemon that you uh, have no effect on and uh, just use it 20 times because that still counts. And then you just level it up uh you you line it up to level it up but what's funny about it is that it is can it is canon that you, in order to get a nihilip you have to make the pokemon so angry that you that it's it's anger evol wills it to evolve yeah see that that's the one thing about primate that i think puts it a little over manky because yeah, although manky is, is angry like primate yeah, but primate is way way more angry I know he's... <laughs> Cut the fuck. Another Poke Park thing that you don't understand, but he's in the ice zone for whatever reason. He's also fucking piss mad. Uh, well, that, that is in character. But I mean, uh, overall... I, I mean, I think I they're both... Kinda, kind of in mid Primate deserves to be in a tier above Mankey, because Mankey's just, you know, slightly angry monkey... You know, I, I, can put, I can put Primeape in high tier. Yeah, yeah, that, I'm, I'm thinking that too. Primeape, high tier, Mankey, mid tier. Alright, I'm uh, not sure how you feel about Arcanine, but Ar I would put Arcanine in god tier. I See, love I Arcanine. love dogs, and, uh, gr I Honestly? want Arcanine as a pet. Okay, well... I'll, on, okay, plot twist. I want Growlithe as a pet more. I, I feel like Entei's too big. I like I I I want Growlithe to be you know. I feel like Growlithe's the mm. perfect size for this kind of thing. And okay, you know what? Growlithe as a pet, but also uh, well, also I just like cats more than dogs in general. So I mean, nine tails above both of them in terms of having a pet. But like, yeah, I, I, I would prefer ride nine tails over nine. Okay, see that. Tr I would also. I was also thinking that, but then I remember that Entei exists. I would rather have Entei over Arcanine. I don't like Entei's design that much. I vastly prefer Arcanine over Entei. I want to ride Arcanine over vast, sprawling plains. That would just that, be one that, hell that of it, an That is a uh, Kino, but I. I think. Arcanine is regal, he's cool, but he can also be cute. He's everything put into one Pokemon. He is so cool. Uh, I will... I really don't think he belongs in God. I would sooner put Nine he Tails in God he absolutely than Arcanine in God. In God -tier. I, I, will, I will say that both Growlithe and Arcanine can go into top, but... I don't know, I'm looking at everyone in God. I'm like, he, I would, I would again, I would put Nine Tails in God before Orcanine. Uh, I guess I can concede to that, but come on, it is Arcanine. I, I, he, it, it is a, a the idea of a big dog that I can ride like a horse is really cool, but at the same time, I would still, I, I, I think I like Growlithe more. He's cuter. He's like, he's, he... Goddamn. Yeah, I, I like how Growlithe is like, it's like a mixture of cool and cute, and then Arcanine, he kind of loses the cuteness. He, he just becomes like a cool Yeah, but Arcanine dog. can't... It, although he doesn't look uh cute, like, just static, I'm just imagining... Oh, look at that 
goofy smile he has, dude. He d- Arkin, he does it, have a very thick if you, coat of fur that I want to scritch behind I'm the ears. I'm just imagining, like, if you if you pet Arcanine on the head, he would roll over on his stomach with his tongue out, and he would immediately become just the most adorable thing on earth. He's like a like, lion. True, where but at the lions same time, I want in the wild the ep- are regal and terrifying. But then you see them, uh, like, like if you see a yeah, but there's video an, there's of an lions a dog. licking each other's. Well, yeah, but he's a bit. He's lion sized. But I'm I'm using this as an example. Where yeah, I, I, I don't I don't want a lion sized dog though. I want a dog sized dog because you know I I mean I love I prefer bigger dogs to smaller dogs, but not like. You know, Arcanine, so not horse-sized dogs. Well, see, having like, Arcanine you know, as a pet obviously isn't practical, but I still want to ride Arcanine. That's, th- that's yeah, but I, come on, I feel like I get more emotional and jo- emotional satisfaction ha- after out of ha- having a Growlithe just lay on top of my stomach. True, having a Growlithe lay on your stomach would be the greatest feeling in the world. Yeah, and then you just run your hand across like the the top of its head whereas with uh, with arcanine i would have to like like my my entire body I, I would have to use to like scratch its belly well see i'm also thinking more about the the prospect of having nine tails as a pet yeah but see now i really right, want a nine tails <laughs> yeah, like see, what's cool about nine tails you could take your hand put it on top of its head run it down its back and then yeah, every Get time you do it, you can f- end on a different end. tail. You, you you do it nine times. You start on the head nine times, but then you end on a different tail. That that yeah. that is uh w- that is what all men desire. That is that is the true nature of the human experience. Men want that one is, that, thing, and it's fucking disgusting. <laughs> yeah, that tops Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Uh, the poly uh wag line. I feel like Poliwag just gets worse as you go on. <laughs> uh, mm, I disagree to somewhat. I like Poliwhirl. Um, I feel like Poliwrath was missing something though, because all they all they do with Poliwrath is that they make him buff and they make his eyes serious, and that, that that's it. <laughs> it's just like. Poliwag is so cute. And then you go to Poliwrath and all the cuteness is gone and he's he's just mad. He looks like one of the killer beans. <laughs> yeah, he does look like one of the killer beans. I do not um, like Poliwrath at all. So, here, let, let me ask you this. Uh, how old were you when you finally realized that the pink thing on Poliwag was not its nose, but its mouth? I mean, wait, that, that was like... You thought that? I uh, thought I, for the longest time, I thought it was its nose. And I Did thought, you know like, instead s- of a mouth, it just had the spiral thing. Did you know that the spiral thing is based off of a real species of tadpole that has its intestines in a translucent thing on its stomach? And it's in yeah, that I know that, but pattern. like, I, 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 I knew that, but I was like, oh, this Pokemon like doesn't have a mouth. It just has, like, instead of the mouth. And, like, it, not that it, this functions as a mouth, but, like, in... The area that the mouth would go, it's just the, the spiral. I, I did not realize that the pink thing was, it was a mouth that opened up. I thought it was a nose. I mean, I always thought it was a mouth. So, I, know, I guess... Well, the, yeah, you have to keep in mind, this was back before they uh, made animations in the games. So, I just always saw it in the Gen 3, and I was like... And, like yeah, Gens 1 through 3, and I was like, oh, that's, that, that's a nose. Surely it can't uh, be a mouth. Look, look, look at where it is relative to the eyes. It's like in where the nose would be. So, Poliwag, I would probably put in high tier. I think it's high so tier? I would say mid. I would not. I hmm. I don't think he's as I'm cool as the up. guys in high tier. Well, you're not as cool, Pol- but he's... he's po- Poliwhirl high tier, maybe, but not, not Poliwag. Well, see, I'm looking at the Pokemon in mid-tier, and I'm just... I like Poliwag more than all of them. Well, maybe... Maybe not as much as Clefairy. But I, uh, I also I, think I, I wanted... I'm look, I'm I, I think I also mid-tier. wanted Clefairy in high tier. 
So <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm looking at everyone in mid tier, and I'm like, that po polywag, like, l is like screaming to be placed there. You know, I can concede to polywag in mid tier if you concede to polywhirl also being there. But he's got boxing gloves. I don't care. Polywag is cuter. The polywhirl's cute. He's Poly got boxing gloves and little yeah, like poly poly He's got bulge is eyes. Way cuter. No, Polywag's no, I want adorable. Um, Polywag can't give you a hug. I don't care. I want to keep Polywag. In I, I want. I want to give Polywag a fist and bump. Watch him I, I want to watch Polywag just swim around in an aquarium and maybe, you know, Poly Polywag is big enough to pet. I can reach my hand in and pet him. I I'm imagining the run cycle of a Polywag and I'm laughing on the inside, because it's 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 like front and back is like guts out. So it's it, it like his gut extends about as far as his feet do. So he just be we'll like, see. Hum, hum, hum. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Here's the other thing. It, I also just realized that I I can't stand the thought of putting Polyrath in the same tier as Polywag. Uh, see, because like Polyrath is at least cool, kind of cool. I At don't least even just by, think like, he's that cool. He's a killer uh, bean. <laughs> yeah, but I, like, if I, he, I, he punches. He's a punchy boy. I don't think he's that cool, honestly. He is that. He has devoted There's his fists so on many the side Pokemon of evil. Cooler than him. Uh. We're at an impasse. Okay, we'll meet in the middle and we'll put them all in mid. Uh, that feels like the most all sides unhappy compromise in existence, <laughs> but I guess we have to. Yeah. Because as as lazy as Polyrath is, I still think I still think I like Polyrath more than everyone in low tier. All right, so Abra, Kadabra, and Alakazam. Okay, so I, I know I, I went to bat for Zubat, uh, despite it being, like, annoy, annoying that it was the only thing you could encounter in caves. But if we're uh, using that logic, then Abra's a bitch-ass motherfucker, and every Pokemon fan knows why. Uh, well, see, I played on Pokemon Yellow, and I know, I know from YouTube videos that Abra is way less common, uh, like, in way fewer places on Pokemon Yellow than in other uh than in the original uh red and blue because i remember there was like this you needed to catch an abra for a glitch to i think get mew in pokemon uh, yeah i believe that is the case and they yeah and that's why i had to look up the abra catch rates in different gens and it's like yeah you know in red and blue you can just go anywhere but in yellow it's this very specific patch of grass near cerulean city and so I don't have that memory. Yeah, you, you, you never had an Abra teleport away from you? Oh! Oh, you mean teleporting away from you? Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant uh, just fucking appearing constantly. Well, yeah, not only is its, is its uh, spawn rate low, but it also teleports if you fuck up once. Uh, honestly? I... It I, f I think I captured my Abra on my first try, and I only needed one, because I was just using it for a glitch. I mean, well, if you were doing it for a glitch, you probably were, like, already done with the main game, and were just hunting it for, like, the post -game. Oh, no, I was doing the glitches as I was going around the game, because oh, okay. I, I had a Mew on my team while playing Pokemon Yellow. Uh, well, in that case, I I'm thinking, like, when you're doing a normal run and you just say you encounter abra and you're and you're like oh that's cool because like because alakazam is so cool everyone wants an alakazam but he's so hard to get because a I, I, i'm pretty sure you have to he's trade also first busted yeah and then but to even kickstart that process you gotta find an abra and pray to god that you catch it first try without it teleporting away like a like an asshole uh i mean yeah that is annoying but Come on, it's way less annoying than Zubat, in my opinion, because it's only if you're trying to catch an Abra, 
and you know generally like i only needed it for a glitch i wasn't getting alakazam on my team uh as far as where it belongs because i do i do like its design i like uh especially in fucking oh when they added it to smash brothers and it teleports people off the stage that's funny uh i would say abra mid uh i like both abra and alakazam i'm definitely less keen on kadabra yeah he's got that kadabra suffers from lame ass middle evolution syndrome yeah uh i guess we can put both abra and kadabra in mid yeah but then Alakazam, he goes, uh, does he go in high or does he go in top? I don't, as funny as have going from one spoon to two spoons is and how it's canon that he is the smartest being on the planet with like an IQ of 3000 and knows everything to have ever existed. Uh, I don't, he, he doesn't have too much going for him outside I the don't, two spoons. I, I would, I don't think Alakazam goes in top because... I mean, I'm looking at Psyduck, at Nine Tails, at <laughs> well, to be fair, Sand Slash and Arcanine were ripped away from me from being in uh, fucking God, but like Meowth. Hey man, Jigglypuff was ripped away from me too. Yeah, uh, Wigglytuff. I- I'd put Alakazam in high tier. All right, I I, I can agree with that. Okay, here we here we get uh, some cool guys. Machop, Machoke, and Machamp. Uh, we'll see. I the only one I really like is Machamp. Machamp is pretty Machamp? cool. I'll give you that. Do, uh, yeah, I, Machamp is cool. I would kind of argue Machamp is god tier. No way is Machamp god tier, bro. He fucking no aura or his people. He's he, he, cool, there, but he's not that cool. He he is. Do, do, he's so cool. Arbok is in God tier. Arbok. I think, but I think Machamp is on Arbok's level. I think he also he has un- non consensual on sex level. No, 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 no. I take it back. Machamp does not have non consensual sex. He has con- all the consensual sex because women all want him. There is, it is canon in Pokemon that there is a fan club of humans dedicated to Machamps. Well, that's just bestiality. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. It, it's kind of fair, human looking. Th- th- to be it's fair, humanoid. in the real world, the same thing happens with Gardevoir. So <laughs> yeah, especially the food of kind. Uh, with uh, I, I'm uh, willing to settle for my champ in top, but I I am gatekeeping God tier hard from you for this. Okay, one. all right, hold on, hold on. Have you ever seen Pokémon Tournament? Pokémon Tournament. Uh, it, which the, one the, was the that? Te- it, it was the a Tekken version of Pokemon? No, I have not seen it. Okay, Machamp is a playable character. And his special move is that he just punch rushes you like Star Platinum. He just does a JoJo punch rush. And it's 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 canon that he can throw 1000 punches in I think 1 minutes. Let me let me check. Uh Machamp punch speed. Okay, it can launch 1,000 punches in two seconds. That's canon. See, that's cool, but it's just not... It's not god tier to me. There is no... I, I like Machamp. I do not like Machamp that much. It it represents everything awesome about, like, <laughs> toxic masculinity. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> you go from a chop. It's like, you know, he wants to start the path to, to progress, to, to physical fitness. So... Yeah, you know, he's a little, he's trying, but he's a little scrappy boy. Then he becomes a machoke, and like, oh, that's a buff motherfucker. How do you possibly get any stronger than that? How do you do it? You grow two arms and become even stronger. You become better at lifting, and you become better at punching. That's awesome. I'm not budging on the top tier thing from a champ. There is no way he he, uh, belongs in God. (sighs) You you really strong armed me on this one, but I'll we'll, we'll we'll we we none of these are like final, but we'll do one last glance over when we have all the 151 on the list, and then we can do like a final glance over to see if there's anyone we can agree to bump up or bump down compared to everyone else. But no, I I will 
I'll be making a case for Machamp later. Uh, as for Machop up and Machoke, uh, I would say Machop is high tier. I like. I I can agree with that because I like Machop's personality of like being the scrappy dude ready to start his adventure to fitness. But I think Machoke is sort of the uh, my least favorite of the three because although he's yeah, a buff I agree. Dude, I don't. I, I'm not little... a fan of the purplish of his skin. He's an ugly and, uh, color, and his face is kind of lizard-like. Yeah, he he loses like the the the, the duck duckiness of of Machop and Machamp. Yeah, so, I'd so put I would him say Machop belongs in mid. Yeah. Uh, the Bell Sprout so, line. Yeah, Bell Sprout, uh, Weepin Bell, and Victory Bell. Uh, I I don't think anyone likes the first two. And I guess uh, Weepin' Bell is kind of cool looking. Or, I mean, sorry, not not kind of cool looking. What am I talking about? Victory kinda Bell funny. is kind of cool looking. Yeah, Victory Bell is kind of cool looking. But Weepin', Weepin Bell is kind of <laughs> funny looking, I guess. But my, not... my funniest moment with Weepin' Bell is the, and I'll never forget this because it was the funniest thing to me at the time, is uh, watching Game Grumps and... Uh, uh, watching Aaron and Dan play through Pokemon Fire Red, and Dan was a Pokemon virgin at the time, like, he only knew the big popular guys, like, Pikachu, Charizard, maybe Blastoise, like, all, all the, like, the real famous mascot types. He, he didn't know all of the, like, other hundred-something Pokemon in Gen 1. So, when Weeping, when he first saw Weeping Bell, his reaction was literally, Jesus Christ, Weeping Bell, are you fucking kidding me with that shit? He, lo <laughs> he, he looks unfinished. Like, and he compared <laughs> him to, like, a, like a grade schooler's, like, clay art project that had not done, that was not finished cooking. And he's like, put me back in the kiln. And now every, every time, he, he said it in that voice, and now every time I look at Weeping Bell, I can't, I can't look at him without hearing, put me back in the kiln. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair that is a fucking hilarious anecdote uh Anna, i feel like they both belong in low tier with the funny story behind weep and bell able to convince me to put it in mid tier if need be <laughs> see well weep and bell i would put ironically in mid tier because it's like it, that's the only like positive emotion I have towards Weeping Bell. Just thinking about how it's just an unfinished, uh, unholy abomination towards God. <laughs> but because like if if that if I weren't wasn't a Game Grumps fan, I would be like, uh, he's low, maybe even border borderline shit. -tier, he's piss borderline tier. pissed here. But uh, like the the funny like if I didn't have that memory, then like the haha funniest thing I could say is that um, imagine getting the the most exquisite 10 out of 10 dome from Bellsprout or Weepin' Bell. Dude, the, the, one, the one word on my mind when I see Weepin' Bell is flashlight. <laughs> it's literally a flashlight! Literally it's a is. sentient plant flashlight. Like, and, and, like, I, I, I look at it and, like, I imagine, like, the mouth flashlight, the ones with a sh in the shape of, like, girls' mouths with the lips that are protruding in that exact way. Like, like, Bellsprout just has, like, you know, vacuum funnel face, but Weepin' Bell is just straight up a fleshlight. Like, not even, <laughs> not even saying it to be funny. It just is a fleshlight. Yeah, so, but yeah, I would say well, we, we both agree low tier for Bellsprout. Yeah. Uh, uh, do we want to, do we want to do a the slight ironic put, factor? <laughs> I, I think, okay, I'll have to show you the clip after the, the podcast to... Like fully when you open it, it sounds like if I were to put it in mid tier, you would not have any qualms. So no, I, feel like I would not have qualms. It's it's a yeah, funny the, anecdote. I, yeah, it, it, I feel like it's so dumb looking that it's like it kind of wraps back around to being endearing. Now, Victory Bell, I do think Victory Bell cool is looking. cool. Yeah, he, I would. I I'd put Victory Bell hmm. in high tier. Yeah, I think that's fitting. Yeah. Uh, Tentacool and Tentacruel. Uh, the strongest memory I have of Tentacool and Tentacruel is learning that the 
episode where Tentacruel knocks, uh, gets giant and knocks over a building had to be banned in the U.S. Yeah, yeah, because of nine eleven, and so <laughs> yeah, because everyone knows that there was no second plane; it was just a Tentacruel that knocked down the second tower. Yeah, it's a it's a giant cover up, but otherwise, <laughs> Tentacruel is extremely lame. Just, just okay. a floppy little Te- jellyfish. I'm, I'm skin. not a big fan of Tentacool or Tentacruel. However, Toad's Cool is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time because it is one of the funniest Pokemon of all time. I cr- I nearly cried laughing. Cool? The f- I okay. D- uh, how familiar are you with the Pokemon from uh, Scarlet Violet? Not at all. Okay, so Toad's Cool is essentially uh. Okay, okay I'm called? looking. I'm looking up Toad's Cruel. Not what not not Toad's fuck Cruel. Is... Toad Toad's Cool. Like oh Toad Toad's and the... Cool and then Cool. Oh, it, it, it's spelled with an E. <laughs> <laughs> what? what the fuck was that? What? Is it ju- is it just is it just Tentacool but walking? Yes. <laughs> 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 he actually yes it's walking around in the wild and the first i had no idea that pokemon it's existed until i played the game grass. and and when and when i saw it for the first time and registered what it was i cried laughing because <laughs> it has the funniest fucking walk cycle it's like a cartoon character this is rubber hose shit it's it's fucking hilarious, it's, dude. Why do why yes. is Scarlet and Violet like this? They also have Dun Dun Sparse, don't they? Yeah, just that is Dun Sparse, but m- more. What if of we them. added another notch? Like at at that point, it's like so lazy that I kind of have to respect it. Like, dude, Toad's instead of cruel, getting which, like, which is the which is the Tentacruel the to- the uh, the Toad version of of Tentacruel is lame because it's just. The Toad's cool joke, but not as cool because he doesn't have the goofy walk anymore. But Toad's cool is like he is up there in my favorite Pokemon by his design by his design alone. It is the funniest fucking thing. Like you, you, you don't understand. Like walking around the tour because I knew there were gonna be. What the fuck is the region called in Scarlet Violet? It's not Galar because that's Sword and Shield. Uh, fucking hold on. Scarlet region. Uh, bu- 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 bu. Paldea. Okay, yeah. Pal- it's Paldean tentacool. And it's so fucking funny. I, 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 uh... I can't... Like, if, if this were Toad's cool, I would be arguing for God tier. But since it's just tentacool, and now that I know that there's a better tentacool in the world, I'm fine with putting it in, like... Mid at best, low at worst. I'd put it in low, and then Tentacruel probably. I would not. I'm not. I don't feel strong enough to argue it for it to be mid. I'd put Tentacruel in maybe upper mid, high at best. Uh, it can it can go it can go in mid just for just because it's it it's related to nine eleven that gets it a bonus point to keep it out of low. Okay, so Geodude, Graveler, and Golem. Okay, uh, I... Hot take? I, well, I don't know how hot of a take this is, but uh, I feel like this is one of those Pokemon that they peaked with the start and it just kind of gets worse with each evolution. That is a garbage take. Holy shit. I so, don't like Golem. You don't like Golem? Like, Golem? I, I feel like cool. Golem misses the point of Geodude and Graveler. I feel like he he's like a third evolution that doesn't belong. I Dude, like why that he turns a, into a dragon. Why is he? Like, why is he a weird lizard encased in a rock now instead of a sentient rock with arms that punches? <laughs> See, uh, well, to me, Graveler is the worst. Cause... Yeah, well, I Graveler, I'm not a fan of either. I, I feel like Geodude is easily the best. Graveler is just kind of dorky looking, but not in an endearing way. You know, he's. Just... Just a rock dude. I feel like, not like Graveler a, like a is just one. bigger Geo dude, but he also loses the ability to float. He's which lumpy is... and weird. Yeah, Ge- Ge- Geo dude also gets bonus points because for some reason he floats, and we just accept it. It's just a part. It's just a reality. That is we have funny. To accept. So Graveler, I'd be willing to put in like 
honestly low tier for me i yeah, really gra- I'm, like I'm fine graveler. with low tier graveler uh but geo dude i would say he gets a he gets a high tier i'd be willing to have geo dude in high tier if you also put golem there because i really i uh, i think golem is easy I, I don't think golem belongs in high tier i'm looking there's at all no the way golem belongs in a I, low tier okay we'll meet in the middle and say mid how about that Fine, but I hate Geodude being higher than him. Hey, Geodude's better. You can't tell Geodude me Geodude is Golem not is better. I like Golem. He's a floating rock with a face and arms. That's awesome. That is funny. But Go- Golem's cool. I like Golem. Okay, uh, Ponyta and Rapidash. Also, how how far are we? We got 14. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 14. That's 28 times 3. We got like one third of the Pokemon left. Oh, all right. Uh, so I I like Ponyta a lot. Rapidash, not as much. Rapidash is just bigger Ponyta, but uh, but they you know what it loses? It loses Ponyta's eyes. Ponyta has cuter eyes. Yeah, see, Ponyta is adorable, but Rapidash. Although I do like that he gets a bunch of fire. That's pretty cool. It's I still... don't like the squiggliness of it. I I like P- Ponyta's like f- uh slicked back fire. Yeah, see Ponyta's cute and kind of in a way cool, but like in a in the way you'd see a kid punching a like a I don't know, a punching bag and be like, "Oh yeah, that's <laughs> you know, you're you're being plenty macho kid." Uh it, it's almost it, cool. I would say that Rapidash way. is low tier. I wouldn't go that far. I'd say Rapidash is mid tier. Uh, mm, uh okay well i i guess i i don't hate it enough to argue for it lower i do like a lot of the pokemon in mid more than than the rapidash but uh, whatever i'm i'm ponyta goes it. i i'd put ponyta on high yeah i agree uh slowpoke I... and slow bro hear me out <laughs> you you gotta hear me out on this one <laughs> <laughs> I, I, if you're w- gonna say God tier, I don't disagree with you. Slowbro is my favorite Gen One Pokemon. Really? Yes, and I can explain to you why. So back in okay. the day, like I said, in Gen One, I was doing all the glitches. So I attempted the level one hundred Nido King glitch, one of the most infamous glitches in the game. You basically, I don't remember exactly how to do it, but you get an escape rope. Uh, I oh you yeah, got I a new patron by the way. Ah a... oh, hell yeah, uh, <laughs> he's the one to know. Sorry to de- derail me. your story, but I was just checking the Discord and I saw you got a new patron. Yeah, I did all the steps to the glitch, and I go to the forest, and you know, it starts the encounter by opening up your menu. When you close it, just the encounter, and it was a slow bro. Now, if you're doing it correctly, well, you can get plenty of Pokemon this way, but most people do it with a Nidoking for whatever reason. I don't know why, but it was a slow bro, even though I was trying to get a Nidoking. But whatever, I got the slow bro, and it was level one. Now, level one Pokemon in Gen 1 are broken, and so you're supposed to, if you get less experience than its level, it instantly goes to level 100. Uh, like, like, less experience than needed to level it up, I'm pretty sure. But, for what- uh, somehow, I did it wrong, and so my slow bro didn't level up to level 100, it, it went up to level 2, eventually. And so I was just like, okay, I guess he's a part of my team now, I mean, it, it's a slow bro. And by using slow bro as my teammate, I slowly fell in love with just how- he's so dorky and goofy- and so lovable, I, I, <laughs> but at the same time, I, even it's looking at him right now, really it's hilarious good. how his tail is getting eaten. Like he, he's in the process of like, get, it getting eaten, his whole ass self, and he's like, "Yeah, he's fine with it. He is fine with this <laughs> other thing eating him alive." And then when he mega evolves, it just takes over his entire body. <laughs> yeah. and he spins like a top on it, and then then he is no longer okay with it. Now he's like slightly concerned. <laughs> It's only at that point that he gets concerned, yeah. 
but slow he, growth he's like the living embodiment be... of the this, of the dog in a, in a burning room this is fine meme it, see i love both slow poke and slow bro to death slow poke or, or sorry slow bro especially but i would put both of them in god tier they are both i wouldn't so if if slow bro is gonna go in god tier i wouldn't put slow poke in there because i feel like slow bro is just slow poke but but funnier I'd be willing to but get I would, Slowpoke I will in, agree. in top tier. I will, I will agree Slowbro gets god tier. That's definitely. the one I thought you wouldn't agree with me on, but you know what? I'll no, take it. No, no. I, 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 I do think Slowbro is fucking hilarious. It does belong in god tier, but I, I will put my foot down about if we, we can only have one of them, and it can't, it's not going to be the not, the not as funny one. Yeah, so Slowpoke I can put... I, I'm, I can live with putting in top tier. Uh... Honestly, I wouldn't even put it in top tier. I would I, put I Slowpoke like in top tier. I, I would put it in high tier. Nah, I'm really gonna gun for top tier on this one. Okay, yeah, yeah, the, it, it, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a pass on the canon thing that uh, you, people will straight up rip off the tails of Slowpoke in the Pokemon Oh yeah, Slowpoke is one of the most punished Pokemon. Bro, Team Rocket is after his tail. It's horrifying. <laughs> True. Okay. All right. Fine. I'll, I'll I'll agree to put in top tier then. Uh, Magnemite and Magneton. Uh, so I I'm not. I I to really either of like them. Magnemite's design. Uh, I oh, wow. do not think Magneton works as well as Dugtrio. See, Mag uh, er, uh, fuck Magneton is. Well, uh, well, first of all, I don't think this Pokemon really became worth picking up until. Uh, Gen Four with Magnezone. I I like Magnezone. Oh a lot. yeah, Ma Magnezone's way better than Magneton. Not even close. Not even a comparison. But like, al although the idea of magnets getting stuck together is kind of fun, at the same time, well, see, just here's here's magnemites. what bothers me about Magneton more than anything. They aren't connected by the magnets. They're connected by screws. Why, if they're going to be three magnets stuck together, why not connect them by the magnet? Are they connected Granted, by the that would look... I thought I thought they just magnetized their bodies together. I thought they were, Maybe I thought they were connected by the. I'm I'm pretty sure that's how it works because because if you look at the magnemite, it's just their screws are like a part are of the built into little... them. Yeah, yeah, there's little two Cause like, things. Because like see them. see down here the, the the two magnemites on the bottom don't connect to each other; they just connect to the one magnemite. Although it is funny to think that uh, what if they're just breeding this whole time and they're just constantly fucking? <laughs> <laughs> that is a little funny, but I Magneton is just not very good. I I'd yeah, put but, Magneton... but Magnemites. Magnemites cool. I don't think Magnemites that cool. He's okay. You don't think Magnemites cool? It's 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 no, a I it's a metal cool. ball with an with a big eyeball and with with, with two magnets. And it floats. It's like it's like a little alien. Okay. It's like the closest thing Gen One has to like a, a machine or an alien. I'd put Magnemite in like, a genuinely in mid tier. I'm not extremely mid partial to really. Him. Yeah. Okay. I'm. I'm. If 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 we're putting Slowpoke in top tier, we're putting Magnemite in high tier. I'm. 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 I'm gunning for that. I'm. At least. I'm fine with that. Uh, but uh, Magneton. Magneton I'd put, though. I put him. Yeah, low mid tier. or low? Yeah, put low, low. I'm, I'm thinking low too. Right. Far fetched. Uh, I have his cry from Poke Park Wii stuck in my head, but other than that, no feelings. I uh, would they per in... they made this Pokemon better with Surfetched. Uh, what the fuck does Surfetched look like? It's it's the one where his stock is like a, a giant lancing uh, sword, and he's like a no a knight. He's oh like, my he's like god! A Surfetched looks really really cool and really funny yeah. too. It's it's such a comically large sword. Yeah, but like this one, he 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 was doing the Hatsune Miku before Hatsune Miku did it. No, uh, but I'd put uh, far fetched and low, honestly. You know, I. I, part of me wants to disagree, but the other part is just like, yeah, no, you're, you're kind of right. Uh, let, let, let me look at, get, get a quick glance at everyone in low tier. 
Mm, actually, now that I take another look at low tier, I think he belongs in mid. I feel like the leak makes... If he didn't have the leak that he used to bash people over the head with, I would say uh, low tier. But I feel like the leak's at least uh, sets apart. He's also got a funny name. True. I He's guess like one I of the few Pokemon with, with an apostrophe. With an apostrophe in his name. That gets him a bonus point. <laughs> Uh, Doduo and Dodrio. Uh, Doduo is cool just on the nature of it being a weird bird thing with no arms and two heads. Uh, I'm not very partial to Doduo either. Uh, I think it's cooler than it is. Because, like, I would never have one on my team, but I, I think it's, like, cool to look at. I think it's a cool idea, and it is kind of dorky looking, but I don't know. I'd put it in, like, mid at most. I, I, I'm fine with it being mid. Uh, Dodrio. Dodrio I like I, actually a little more than Doduo, because yeah, the way I, I it's do, often I, I like... portrayed, it, it has, like... Okay, I'm, I'm it pulling just grows up a third right head. Now. Yeah, he grows a third head. And there's always the one Dodri- This is honestly the, the best thing about it. The one Do uh, Dodrio that just has- it, It's a slightly different personality, it seems, than the other two. Where you just- The other two are, like, balking and angry, and the third one is just kind of stern-looking with his yeah, mouth like, closed. Like, he's the serious one, and the other two are, like, the, the manic, brain-dead ones. Yeah, that that is actually what puts Dodrio above Doduo. I, I wish they would put Dodrio all in out. High tier. Yeah, I wish they went all out with that concept though, and made gave each one like a different have, personality. Have they done anything with the Dodri with the Doduo line since they? Sh I think they had right. Uh, I don't remember. Okay. I, I don't Do know. Dodrio, Dodrio. By the way, I no, really they have they a, haven't done oh. anything with it since. All right, next we have the Seal line, Seal and Dugong. I've always thought that Dugong is a little bit of a lame evolution for Seal. I mean, yeah, I that, like that Dugong just... in isolation, but they, they look kind of the same in a lot of ways. Yeah, D Dugong is definitely just a bigger Seal. Uh, they, they have a little, some slight changes, like uh, the... the the little floppy hands and tail thing that being a two floppy little ends now just looks like a right regular seal tail and you know kind of like fish fins but uh i kind of like I, I i'm in a similar boat i like dugong in isolation and uh I, I mean seal is just hilarious to me because every time i see him i just go seal because I, I, I just look at him and i just think that like he, that's how he gets introduced. You see that little goofy tongue sticking out at all times. He's just flopping like that on his belly, sticking up. He just goes, Seal. See, Seal does have... Here, let me look him up to get a bigger picture. Like, he does have some personality to him, but I've always been a bit more of a fan of Dugong. Just because there's something serene about dugong i really like it, it, it is definitely they did nail the like the the ser serenity and gracefulness of, of the evolution but overall uh i think they're both just kind of okay uh i would say i i like the the funniness of seal i would put seal in mid or high I think mid for both of them. Honestly, I'd be okay, more willing I, I guess to that's put nice... Dugong in high, but... Yeah. Alright, Grimer and Muck. I dislike both of them. You know, mm, okay, well, Muck is just bigger Grimer, and uh, it's because of that I prefer Muck to Grimer, if only because if you're going to be a big pile of sludge... He might as well be a giant pile of sludge. Also, his name is Come Backwards. Yeah, Muck is definitely the better of the two. I'd honestly be willing to put Grimer in piss tier. I really <sighs> do not like uh, Grimer at all. 
I don't hate him as much as I hate Gloom's design. I would put him in piss tier. I, I, I do think he's definitely one of the redeeming. weakest designs in Gen 1. He's, he's just a pile of sludge with eyes and a mouth and arms. And I feel like... <sighs> See, I, I, I like his face too much to put him in shit, put him in piss tier. Here, let me look at Grimer on Google. Uh, I honestly don't like his face. I think... I think his face is part of the reason why I don't like him compared to Muck. And even Muck isn't good, uh, isn't good to begin with. Ah. And honestly, uh, fucking what re is this the Alolan Grimer? Oh no, whatever is, is, region it, gave him the an Alolan update. One? Yeah, I mean, it, that's literally just better version of Grimer and Muck. I, I agree there. Uh... Like, Alolan Muck actually looks kinda cool in a way, but I, I just- I don't like their original renditions. See, I kinda- I kinda wanna put both of them in low tier. I'd put them- well, I'd put Grimer in piss tier, but I can live with him in low tier. Okay, so you so both of them in in low tier then? Yeah. Well, all right, all right. I'll t I'll tell you what because I like Muck more than Grimer, and would therefore and since there's so little of a difference between them that I feel like Muck should just exist. I will agree, in the sense that you know Grimer can go in, in piss tier, just so we can oh, have yeah. a, a another Pokemon to join Gloom down there. Uh, no, Shelder. Uh, I definitely prefer Cloyster, but I do like yeah, Shelder's like tongue sticking out. Well, that's, that is part of it. It's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. But. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Shelder it's having his... is, it, it, It's even got an elongated clitoris. See, uh, what's always weird to me is that Shelder and Cloyster are just ghastly stuck in a shell. Like, he, he yeah. looks exactly like Astley. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 they, that is what they are. Uh, I I like Shelder and Cloyster more than Ghastly, but I like... Uh, oh, wow. Uh, but but I, I, I like Haunter and Gengar more than... Uh, well, I do like Cloyster a lot. I don't know. I, I, I like them more than Haunter and Gengar more than Shelder. So Shelter, I'd put in probably mid tier. Yeah, that that's fair for Shelter. Uh, Cloyster though, he gets he gets to go higher. I'd put him in high tier personally. Yeah, I, I agree. All right, the Ghastly line. I feel like Ghastly is buoyed by his personality. He's very the entire line is very tricksterish. And that, to yes. me, like, puts Ghastly a bit higher than he would be on design alone. But I'd be willing to go mid-tier for him. Uh, yeah, no, yeah it's I agree. Not, it's, it's definitely not, not at high. Uh, Haunter um, I'd put in high, though. Mm, I would say Haunter also goes in mid, and then Gengar goes mean? into... Uh, Haunter is absolutely not mid. He just kind of looks like a generic representation of a ghost. I mean, it's it's the most stylized, generic, platonic ideal of like a, a trickster. Oh, I'm gonna scare you, ghost. Possible, he looks so but cool. I do like how angular it is. I, I like that it's an angular ghost more than Ghastly's. He's you know, so round angular ghost energy. and cool. yeah, the two. And I do, I do hands. like its Rayman hands. I just, I still think though that it's just like. If if you told me to draw like the the most the best possible looking generic idea of a ghost, the, the haunter would be what I would think of. I mean, I'd think of like uh, the most generic rendition would just be a translucent person, but obviously that's you know it's Pokemon. But yeah. haunter, uh. <sighs> 
he does not belong in the same tier as Ghastly. Come on. I kind of agree, but then I look at all the Pokemon in high tier, and I like them all better than Haunter. I honestly like Haunter better than Machop. I like him better than Primate. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I like him better okay. than Magnemite. Okay, well then, but, but Gengar, if, if Haunter's gonna go in high, Gengar's gotta go in, like, top. I can absolutely agree to Haunt, or Gengar in top tier. Not quite god tier, but he's he's super cool and got that tricksterish bent. Uh, fucking everyone likes Gengar. Yeah, he's got his... His super in Pokemon tournament is fucking horrifying. He's he, really he hard eats. to chase down in the uh the tech area in Poke Park too, because he he plays chase with you, but he's super erratic and will also fire. He's a like, fucking bastard in you. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team. I haven't played that one. Yeah, he he's one of the the uh, he, who who are the enemy Pokemon? Who's like the rival gang in uh? Explorers of Time and Darkness. It was like a Skuntank. Yeah, Skuntank and... was the most memorable one, but it was also Zubat and I think Ga. What? No, I don't think it was Ghastly. Was it Ghastly? Zubat and someone. No, no, it wasn't Ghastly. Oh, hold on. What? What were they called again? Uh, Team, Team Skull. What? Wait, no. Was it Team Skull? No. No, that. No, that's, no, that's the that's... Sun and Moon Pokemon bad and guys. Moon. Mystery Dungeon. Skuntank. Team Oh my god, it was it was Team Skull. Oh, I was right. Oh, okay. Well I, I guess they just na okay, we know where they derived it from. And it wasn't a ghastly, it was a coughing. Oh, there we go. Okay, but uh, team team meanies, I'm pretty sure is the one I'm thinking with the Gengar. Let me look that up. Team Meanies. Uh yeah, that was Gengar, Ekans, and uh Metacham. All right. Uh, but yeah, Gengar, fucking awesome. Uh, absolutely deserves to be in high tier. Yeah. Onyx. This is a good one. Onyx Question is, is how, how, where does he belong? Fine. I'm not he's, super... He's a Dude, he's a big-ass rock snake. The first time you see him in the anime, you're like, oh, cool. See, I feel like Onyx... If Steelix didn't exist, I think my opinion of Onyx would be higher. But because Steelix exists, uh, yeah, Ste I'm Steelix just like, is better. Onyx, Steelix cool. is definitely better. But uh, if we're talking just Gen One, I mean Onyx is still cool in its own right. Yeah. High high tier is like the highest I'm willing to go with him. <laughs> I'll agree only on the basis that Steelix exists, and he would definitely rank in a tier higher than Onyx. Absolutely. Okay, the drowsy line. <sighs> Honestly, I've never been a fan. This is gonna sound this is gonna sound really fucking weird, but for some reason Hypno just looks like a pedophile to me. <laughs> I mean uh in uh, to to call back to uh you know funny using Ardbok in uh po pokey Oh wait, um, wasn't Hypno the one who took the I I forget which Pokemon it was, but it was like this little young Pokemon he kidnapped and like brought to Mount Horn. Was wasn't that, oh, that Hypno? I think that was Hypno. I mean Hypno does like to kidnap uh kids, I think. Oh yeah, that's check. also uh, canon. Poke Pokemon Hypno kidnap. What does Hypno even do with the children he kidnaps? Is uh, the top result when I search that up, and it's from a Reddit thing. It's from r slash Pokemon Conspiracies, which is has sixty thousand members. The shit. God damn. Uh, this is a post from ten years ago. I bet the replies are all very dark. Uh, let's see. Here's the top reply. Uh, Hypno holds a pendulum in his hand. The arcing movement and glitter of the pendulum lull the foe into a deep state of hypnosis. While this Pokemon searches for prey, it polishes the pendulum. So we know that Hypno uses its hypnosis as a means of hunting. We know that it eats human dreams, though apparently only when it's very hungry. 
And we know that... Uh, okay, the kidnapping was a singular incident. There was once an incident in the Pokedex where it says it took away a child that hypnotized. So it's not a regular behavior of hypnos. Okay. So I may maybe that hypno was just very... It doesn't kidnap, but it will hypnotize you and eat your dreams for sustenance. But I guess maybe that one was such an extreme case that was like, oh, uh, you know what? I, I need a constant food source. So maybe I'll just trap this child in a perpetual nightmare and be s fed for life. Or maybe he will just fuck it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, fucking Drowsy. Drowsy's definitely the worst of the two to me. He's just yeah, a really just a... ugly tape here. Yeah, it's just a tape here with pants. It, it doesn't get neat until Hypno with the pendulum. I would put Drowsy in low tier. Yeah, and then Hypno I'd put in mid tier, maybe? Actually, I'm looking at some of the Pokemon in mid tier, and I like them more. Uh, see, he doesn't it, belong. In the I'm same not a fan of Nido Queen or Golduck. I would say Hypno goes in mid tier because I, outside of the, if you took away the Pendulum, he's super lame. I think the Pendulum is doing a lot of the heavy lifting. The Pendulum is the only cool thing about him. Yeah, I, I'd say mid tier. Uh, Krabby and Kingler. So it's another one of those evolutions where the, the evolution is Krabby, bigger. but bigger. But at least it's like one claw that's especially big, like real crabs, which is kind of neat. So he's a little unbalanced, but he can wield that big-ass claw towards you. Uh, Krabby is uh, also I, I, funny I, I, in Poke Park. I've always been a Krabby fan. I've always been a Krabby fan? Yeah, crab, crab, crabby's neat. Crabby's fun. Crabby's cool. When I was a kid, I, I thought he was related to like... Krabby Patties. I thought he was related to Mr. Krabs. See, I can see thinking Kingler is cool, because he, he is kind of cool. I, I like Kingler. But Krabby, I'd, I'd put Krabby in, like, mid-tier. I'm, I'm fine with that. I, I think Krabby passes a vibe check. Uh, do, do we want to put Kingler in high tier? I'm, I'm fine with that. No, I'm fine with that, too. Okay. Uh, Voltorb and Electrode. My issue is that Voltorb shouldn't exist. It should just be Electrode. Why do we need two Pokeball Pokemon? I agree. Uh, and also because Electrode is the funniest Pokemon to show up in Smash Brothers, because when he does, he's, everyone wants to run the fuck away from him, except for the few brave souls who are like, okay, but what if? I were to take, uh, I were to go to pick him up in the brief second that I have, and then throw him at a motherfucker. See, Electrode is funny, because he's a Pokeball that explodes. He's literally a mimic, but in the Pokemon universe. Which yeah, is but a also cool... a terrorist. Yeah, also capable of <laughs> terrorism. And so I think Electrode, Ga Gar on that quite, alone... quite literally, Gary, there's a bomb strapped to my chest. It's gonna explode in three seconds. So I think on that basis alone, he's probably high tier. Uh, uh, honestly, on that basis alone, he's high tier. But my Smash Brothers bias wants me to put him in a top tier. He's also what? look at that even, face. I wouldn't even be against putting him in top tier, honestly. He's a funny all right, dude. All right, we're, I'm, I'm glad we agree. Uh, Voltorb, but Voltorb is just lame Electrode. I like that he's pissed, but that's all but I like I about like him. But I like it more when Electrode is just fucking gleeful that he can troll people. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Electro I like Electrode being gleeful more than I like Voltorb being pissed, but I do like Voltorb being pissed. I'd say low tier for Voltorb, honestly. Just because... He's so okay. overshadowed by Electrode. True. Uh, Execute right, uh... is genuinely one of the worst designs in this generation. It's just a bunch of eggs. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, do I, like the, Executor, despite it I, all. I like that there are multiple eggs with multiple faces, and I do like that one of them is just dead. Just has a gaping brain wound. I, I'd... Hmm. 
he's verging on piss tier, but I don't think he's quite that bad. No, no, I'd, I'd say, I'd say he, he, he can go in low tier, and then uh, Executor can go in... Okay, uh, if it I were Alolan a... Executor, it would be God tier, but... Alolan Executor, Executor is amazing. Yeah, but, but regular Executor... Mm. I have a little bit of a soft spot mm. in my heart for him. Here, let me get up a Google image just so I can mid, have something. He's mid at worst. But at best, I would say he's high tier. Uh, it's one of the two. I'm having trouble deciding. I think I'll go high tier, but alone in the executor is the obvious pick. If we're yeah, you know, if he were here, he'd be overshadowed. I, 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 I do like the palm tree aesthetic. Uh, Cubone and Marowak. Ah, I like these guys, especially especially Marowak the lore behind bad. them. Yeah. So it, it, yeah, if I'm remembering correctly, the lore is that Cubone, uh, Cubone's mother died, so he put the skull on his head and started training with bones. And soon yeah, became and then Marowak, Marowak ready when he for evolves, the, the skull fuses to its head. Yeah, so uh, I definitely like both of them. I would uh, say they they didn't they didn't perfect it until Alolan Marowak, where they turned him into a uh, torch dancer. Here, let me but, get Alolan Marowak out. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna look at especially the color scheme of Alolan Marowak, and you're gonna say, "Oh my god!" Oh yeah, his color scheme is perfect. Yeah. So I would yeah, say no. Cubone. I feel like they belong in the same tier because, like, as cool as the lore is, like Marowak, at the end of the day, is just a slightly bigger Cubone. I think it's high tier for both of them. Eh. Let, let, let's look at who's in high and who's in top. I think the Lord puts him in top, top tier. I, I I think the Lord puts him in top. You know what? I can't really complain about that. Gotta have to scroll so much now. Um, I I might I might have to zoom out one more as la as lame as LB. Okay, that's a, a little bit better. Okay, let me just pop that back open. There we go. Okay, that's one more manageable. Uh, Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. I'm, I've always been a Hitmonchan guy, not so much a Hitmonlee guy. Uh, Hitmonchan is definitely better. I feel like the line really got completed once they had Tyrogue, I think his name is. Yeah. Uh, as well as Hitmontop. Which, Hitmontop is just funny. Oh yeah, I, I fucking love Hitmontop. But, uh, Hitmontop is definitely my favorite of them all. But if we're going off of these two, you no, know, they don't really feel complete in Gen One. But yeah, they, they definitely look like their Tyrogue should have been in Gen One, and then you could choose it to evolve into a Hitmonlee or Hitmonchan. Um, yep. Tyrogue really completes the picture, but Hitmonlee I would say Hitmonlee mid, mid tier. I, I'm yeah. not a fan of its design that much. It's better than Hitmonchan... everything in low tier, but. Hitmonchan. Yeah, I mean, it's a boxer. So it goes... I feel like I, I can go high, high for this one. Yeah. Lickitung. I really like Lickitung. He's a big, goofy boy. Uh, I'm not as big of a fan of Lickitung. He's okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I do the like name. the tongue. You know, he, he it is a very goofy design. I would put like a tongue in. I don't know. Something Ooh, about the tail tier. just feels slightly too big to me. Just hey, a little too maybe. bulbous. I I I agree. Oh, hold on. Because I, I imagine him extending out the tail completely like, in a big long line and a point, and that looks cursed. But uh, I'm I, I the, the, he's he's a goofy boy. I I, I would say high tier. I'd go mid, but I'm not against him being in high. I, I feel although, like he should be in... Although I hope we can both agree that if Licky Licky were here, we'd put them in piss. 
Yeah, <laughs> honestly, I, I don't like Licky Licky. <laughs> I feel like they 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 took it too far. They made him too much of a fat fuck. Uh, c- uh coughing and wheezing. Uh, I don't per. Okay, wheezing is kind of. I hesitate to say cool. Mm, uh, I like mm. coughing. I feel like coughing kind of belongs in either mid or high tier, but wheezing definitely not, not high. Of, uh, I okay, would not well, go right, high cough, for coughing. coughing. Okay, co- co- I coughing can live with mid. mid. I feel like wheezing. I do like wheezing a little more than coughing, honestly. I feel like they. I'm both I'm belong. fine with putting them both in mid. Yeah, I'm fine with that too. All right, ooh, Rhyhorn! Rhyhorn's so cool! Rhyhorn and Rhydon are both really cool. Okay, here, here's what we gotta ask ourselves, though. Uh, which one is better? That's a tough question. Here, I'm gonna get Google Cause... images out of both of them. Okay, because, uh, Ry- okay, uh, what about... I'm not. I'm not a big fan of Rhyperior. I feel like they the orange comes out of nowhere. Uh, I still like Rhyperior, but I definitely think that uh, I prefer it's the, the worst original of the three. Tool. Yeah. Yeah. See, because like Rhyhorn, I think looks Rhyhorn like... is a little better because Rhydon. Yeah, I'm that although too. although Rhydon is cool, he does just kind of look like a, a lizard. Whereas Rhyhorn I mean, that is has what got, they were going yeah, for. Yeah, that's what they were but... going for. But with Rhyhorn, it's like I feel like it's a mixture of a rhino and a lizard. But I feel like Tyranitar is just a better Rhydon. Yeah. And 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 Rampardos is a better Rhydon. Uh Rampardos. How am I forgetting who this he, is? He's from Gen 4. Oh is yeah, okay. He's Kratos? that one. Okay, yeah, yeah Rampardos I love is cool. Rampardos. Yeah, uh, okay, so here's, here's what I'm uh, offering you, and I want to see if you accept it. Rhydon, top tier. Rhyhorn, god tier. Hmm. I don't think he belongs quite in god tier. I, Rhydon in top tier does feel fine. Yes, but... Hmm. Look, look how cool Rhyhorn is, though. He's like... He he's a, a rhino, but with a he's like made of scales. He he's like a if if a rhinoceros in real life could like evolve into the perfect uh beast, this is what it would be in real life. I think I can live with it in God tier. I definitely think there I, are, there are Pokemon I'd sooner put in God tier, but I would I would def I I'm a big fan. Don Fan is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. I would put and I I like Don Fan more than Rhyhorn. I would put Dawn Fan in God tier, but if we're just going off of Gen 1, I would say Rhyhorn belongs in, in God tier. It, 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 it looks too cool, man. Like, of, of all of the Pokemon on the list so far, Rhyhorn like, exudes that don't fuck with me energy like the hardest. Yeah, although... I, don't know, I just don't think that energy is what I would typically put in God tier. And we, 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 we can come back to it later. Uh, Chansey. I like Chansey. I, I like Chansey too. My, I feel like Chansey My most is... fond memory of it is playing Smash 64, the first video game I ever played, even before Pokemon, and seeing it show up on the Saffron City stage, where every time it would show up, it would go, Chansey, and drop a bunch of eggs that had items in it. And that was really fun. I feel like Chansey is also helped by the fact that they're like the the Nurse the Joy farms. healing Pokemon, and also oh, XP true. farms. Yeah, true. They do have a lot of care. Uh I would. Uh, it can't be mid tier. It's got to be higher than that. I'd go top tier, honestly. I agree. I, I have no arguments against it. I don't. It's it's not quite on the level of the Pokemon of God tier, but uh, it's a, it's a friend. It's definitely a friend. Tangela, or Tangela, how do you pronounce it? Uh, they're definitely better once they have Tang growth as an evolution. But yeah, I, Tangela. I, I, I used on to think own. when I was a kid, I thought I did not realize it was a bunch of vines. I thought it was a bunch of uh blue Play-Doh spaghetti. 
<laughs> they always remind me of the the one plant and plants versus zombies that uh drags the scuba divers under. Oh yeah. But yeah, I'm not too partial to Tangela. I'd say mid tier at most. Uh, mid tier. I'd put him in mid tier. I agree. He he's got that mysteriousness to him because he we don't know what's under all those vines. But I I feel like everyone else in high tier and above outdoes him. Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan is cool. I like Kangaskhan yeah. a lot. And the whole thing I of having the well, first of all, the pun with Genghis Khan is funny. But second of all, mm. the child they have in their pouch obviously, like, sells the design. Yeah, like, she's, like, the most badass mother of the Pokemon world. Like, cause she'll, yeah, she'll it, do all the fighting Kangas while keeping her little uh, little baby Genghis Khan in her pouch. Genghis Khan is, like, the embodiment of a mother's rage while protecting her child, and that's cool to me. Yeah, the, the if your forger so was a Pokemon, she would be Kangaskhan. Absolutely. I would put Kangaskhan in top tier, easily. I... I agree. Uh, Horsey. Uh, this is another I, line I that Horsey's... Gen 2 completes. Uh, oh uh, yeah, because King, Kingdra. Uh, Kingdra's I... Kingdra's absolutely like the, the Horsey best. Horsey and Deidre. Yeah, I, I think Horsey's cute. Horsey's he's cute, he's seahorse. but not the cutest. Not 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 the cutest, but I think he's. I definitely he's prefer a uh, Cedra. Honestly, Cedra. <laughs> just the the idea of this ang uh, angry fucking uh, seahorse with all the all. The, uh, I mean, I like the spikes, like the angular yeah, sort of I, design. Okay, how about how about horsey in mid, uh, Cedra in high? I am absolutely down for that. Uh, Goldeen and Sea King. I like Sea King. I am not so much of a fan of Goldeen. I have been conditioned to hate Goldeen because of, of once again Smash Brothers. Because if you get Goldeen, it's just, it does nothing, and there's no like lamer feeling in all of Smash Brothers than fighting uh, through th uh, three to possibly even seven other people for a Pokemon. And you throw it out, and it's just a fucking Goldeen that splashes around and does nothing. You, like, your day is ruined. See, the problem with Goldeen is that I'm just imagining all the fish Pokemon, right? Then you get to Goldeen, and she's just the fish that no one likes, because she's kind of an annoying girl boss. <laughs> That's what she <laughs> looks like to me. <laughs> I've never thought about it that way, but you're so right. I'm looking at Goldie right now, and you're 100% right. He is a girl boss. A like, a trying too hard girl boss. <laughs> and so, that's why... That, that's the story of why I don't like Goldeen. Uh But Sea King's <laughs> cute. I, I like Sea King a lot. I, w I wouldn't call Sea King cute. I would say it's more cool than cute. It's a, it's a big, cool-looking fish. Uh, it, it's so, almost uh, a sort of, like, dorky-looking cute. Eh. Uh, well, also I, I would say cool. Go I would say Goldeen is prettier than Sea King. Eh. I, I like Goldeen's the red got on that, like, King so much, beta though. fish looking design to her. Uh, I'd put Goldeen, honestly, in... I, I would put it in I'd mid, but, to go in mid. but Smash Brothers has conditioned me for low tier, so I'd put say low tier. But yeah, I'd put uh, Seeking in high tier. Uh, I'd put Seeking in mid, honestly. I'd put Seeking in high. I think Seeking is cooler than Seeking. I think Seeking has such a cool shade of red, though. Uh, mixed with the white and the yeah, black. Nah. It, I feel like Sea King's color palette puts it out of mid on that basis alone. It's no, such a good no, color cause... palette. No, no. You're looking for a Pokemon with an, a cooler po uh, color palette in mid tier. Uh, Parasect. Uh, P Pidgeot. 
Uh, I think Sea King's better than both of them. A H- horsey. I think Sea King's better. I don't. But I'm looking at all the Pokemon in high tier, and like I like them all mo- way more than Sea King. Uh, I like Sea King more than Cloyster, even though he is a vagina. You like Sea King more than Cloyster? But he's a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I I I I kind of feel like I, I haven't put my foot down in a while, but I feel like I gotta put my foot down Damn. about Sea King. Uh, Star You though. Star You is cool. Uh, Star You is kind of cool. I definitely like Star Me more because he's just Star You but cooler. And also, uh... I prefer the color palette of Star Me. I, I do, but at the same time, I like Star You more. I I, I kind of like the simplicity of it. Uh, it's like an alien starfish. And I definitely Sma- once prefer again, Star Me. W- once again, in Smash Brothers, it's always funny to get Star You because if you get Star You, it'll lock someone in a barrage of Swift that if they get hidden, they just like get juggled by it. It's really funny to watch him. Helplessly struggle in vain against their swift barrage. To be fair, Staryu is, like, kind of coded to be the, the swift Pokemon. In a yeah. way. Uh, I would put... I'm, I'm fine with putting both Staryu and Starmie in high tier. You know what? I'm fine with that. Now, I Mr. hope Mime. we don't have to disagree on which tier Mr. Mime is in. Uh, piss the, tier, the, right? The, the, <sighs> Wait, what? D- okay, yeah, it, uh, okay, maybe, but consider this, Crunchy. Um, this is the only Pokemon that we know to be banging Ash's mom. So, Wait, so for, for Clout alone, I feel like that puts it out of piss tier. So, hold on, what's, what's the lore behind that? Uh, do, do you not know the theory that Mr. Mime is either... Ash's dad or uh, Ash, Ash's new dad, like uh, that. That Ash's mom married the Mister Mime. Uh, I've never seen that theory before. Although now that you're saying it, I do sort of see uh, the puzzle pieces are falling together in my mind. If you if you Google but Ash's mom, Mister Mister Mime. Mime's design, though. It's uh, uh, Mime Junior is infinitely better. I will agree. Mime Junior is so uh, cute. Well, and yeah, it has to um, evolve into Mr. Mime. I I feel like Mr. Mime is unique, enough, especially when he just becomes the rock in the Detective Pikachu. I feel like he's just quirky enough to keep him out of piss tier, but he definitely lands in low tier. I would not put him higher. I like him. Mr. Mime. I, I think Mr. Mime is worse than Grimer. <laughs> I hate nah, his design on. so much. I hate him so much. I'm, I, I'm not a fan of his color scheme. I'll give you that. And I'm not a fan of his weird hat, the pads on his fingertips. I'm not a fan of anything on him. <laughs> he, do, he does look like some kind of weird chimera mismatch, but... I, I hate the something... balls all over his body. They feel so ill-fitting. And come on, it, but, but he's here, banging at his mom. But the even worse part is that mi- this thing that is banging a milk, and you're not crunchy. That 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 the clout alone keeps him out of piss tier. Nah, I'm 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 a hard gunning for piss tier because it, he, consider this, mime he he's the thing that mime junior evolves into. Like I know this is a Gen One tier list, but. This thing is taking away the cuteness of Mime Jr. He is the reason that cuteness is dying. He is a horrible okay, monster. Okay, but ha- have you seen Galarian, Mr. Mime? I have not actually seen Galarian, Mr. Mime. So I'm looking it up right now. Uh, okay, he, he's a jolly fellow. I actually like this, this dude. Galarian, Mr. Yeah, Mime, is kind of he- cute. I think he then evolves. Yeah, he, then he evolves into um, Mr. Rhyme, and he's goofy. Okay, Mr. 
Right. Replace the M, the first M in mime with an R. Oh, Mr. Okay, Mr. Rhyme is cool looking, dude. He, he, he's a fucking, like, he looks like he's gonna whisk me away into, like, a Alice in Wonderland world. Which I guess would just be Wonderland. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's cool. And I do like that his stomach and the coat uh, form another face on his belly. But the original Mr. Mime is just awful, in my opinion. There's, there's something about him that, like, I feel like should keep him out of this tier. He's, like, genuine, probably my least favorite design of the generation. Like, I actually can't think of a design worse than him. Alright, well, I... What about Jinx? I think his design is genuinely worse than Jinx's, and Jinx's is, is not good. So. Uh, all right. Well. Okay. Well, hold on. I um. I, I I had to decide which one I like uh more than the, between the two. I don't like Jinx either. Uh. Jinx at least has the funny story of having to have a color change on her face because the original oh, one was okay, literally okay. blackface. Well, right, I, I forgot about that. I, I take it back. Jinx is god tier. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, wait, hold on. OG Jinx is god tier. Uh, but then they okay. They I will removed concede. the racism and that just ruined yeah. everything. Yeah. Okay. So we can we'll put them both in piss tier. <laughs> I I absolutely agree. Okay. Uh, Scyther though is going in god tier, and you can't stop me. This one, this one's not open for debate. He has I, sword I arms I and he don't flies. I hate it, although Sand Slash still belongs in there too. But see, I like Scizor evolves... more. Is the issue? Well, I, I Scizor is I also cool. I, I I prefer I prefer Scyther to Scizor, but Scizor is not like so much of a downgrade that I would hate evolving a Scyther. Uh, there's also what the fuck was that new Scyther called? Scyther Hisui. Um, humana, humana, humana. Okay, let's look at Scyther. Scyther. Cleavor. Uh, uh, what do you say? Uh, Cleavor. It's spelled K L E A V O R. Uh, Cleavor. And this in his suit. Instead of having swords, it has axes for hands. Uh, Cleavor is a pretty lo cool looking guy. Yeah, I, I still prefer Scyther, but uh, it it's cool that it exists. Uh, but yeah, no, Scyther is absolutely one thousand percent going in God tier. Like you, 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 there's nothing you can say to me that will convince me otherwise. I'd go top, but I guess I don't hate him being in god tier. He's got blades for arms. That al that I that alone know. would put him in top tier. He's 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 green. He's tall. Well, if see, he was I like a little I don't bug guy, particularly he wouldn't care. be in god tier. But because he's like human size, that makes him more terrifying. Because imagine, like I'm, I would already be like weirded out if a praying mantis, like I I saw one on. In the in nature, because they like they are scary motherfuckers. But imagine that thing coming at you. See, I I can imagine it, and it would be terrifying. But I don't know. He's just not god tier to me. But you know what? I mean, I guess I won't fight it tooth and nail. If 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 I'm not if as Mr. against Mime it as my champ. Okay. All right, well, uh, then we'll be fine with that. Electabuzz. Electabuzz is a cool dude, but it, it, it's another one of those things where Gen 4 gave it the infinitely superior version in Electabuzz. Or no, Electivire, rather. Uh, the Gen 1 one is Electabuzz. Yeah, he's, there's he's a Gen cool. 2 introduced Elekid. Well, Elekid's kind of dorky looking. I don't really like Elekid. Yeah. Uh, Electabuzz... I'd say high tier. He's cool. Yeah, I'd say high tier as well. I've, 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 I've always liked him, but I've never like liked him like them. Yeah. 
Uh, same Magmar thing kind of with has Magmar. a butt for a face. <laughs> yeah. He's just, he's just got a butt on his head. Uh, I never liked the Magmar line, honestly. I, I don't like Magby, and I don't really like Magmortar. I actually really like Magmortar, but the other two I definitely do not like. Uh, I would put Magmar in mid. He's... He's he's kind of cool looking because he's he's like uh, like a fire denizen, but he the, yeah no he's he's never passed the vibe check you know. Pincer uh, is okay. Pincer, the... Pincer's cool, but Heracross is infinitely cooler. Heracross is amazing. Uh, Pincer is just I don't Pincer like is beta his Heracross. color scheme. He's he just yeah, looks he, so he drab. He, yeah, yeah, he's hard carried by his design rather than his color, by his by his silhouette. Honestly, uh, like yeah, he passes the silhouette test really well, but I feel like I'd put him in mid just because his colors are so drab, and he's he's just such a beta version of Heracross. If Heracross didn't exist, I'd at least put him in high tier. But because Heracross exists, I'll agree with him. And say he belongs in mid. Tauros uh, is Tauros. a bull, and he's also just worse Buffalon. True, but I I, I kind of like him. I'm I'm a bit, especially when you get to ride a Tauros in uh what was it Gen Seven? It, it was Tauros that you ride in in uh Sun and Moon, right? Uh, I think so. I'm I'm pretty sure you ride a Tauros in that one. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I think Kai is fine. He's like he's he's a cool looking bull. I feel like I'd it's also a bull you don't want to fuck mid with. just because. No, nah, no, nah, he's better high. than Magmar and Pinsir. He's better than Magmar and Pinsir. But I'm looking at you know Alakazam, Ponyta, Staryu and Starmie. Cloister. I feel I feel like he's as cool as like Geo Dude, Ponyta, Haunter. Yeah, I'd go He's got three tails. Him. He's got yeah, three tails. Yeah, he does tail. have three. But nine tails has nine of them. What's three tails right, to true. nine? I I feel like he. I feel like Tauros by his coolness factor d uh, goes into high tier. I guess I I, I won't hate it. Uh, Magikarp. Do we put him in piss tier for the memes? No way! Magikarp, it, although it's I, I understand it's for a tier. meme. <laughs> no, he should we put have him his in own Magikarp tier. tier. <laughs> Magikarp yeah, we, tier. Uh, oh shit, hold on. Uh, gear, add row below, and we'll call it... <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Uh, actual... Sub... Feces... Uh, and then Magikarp. <laughs> Magikarp. <laughs> then we put Meta Magikarp, Magikarp to here. Okay, so I, I know this is for the meme, but genuinely I would put Magikarp, like, honestly, probably in God tier. Just because. God tier? Of I actually love the idea of Magikarp so much. This Pokemon that literally only knows a non damaging move. I fucking love every bit of it. And then the fact that he evolves into this Chinese dragon looking thing. Okay, Gyarados going in god tier, I agree with, but not Magikarp. I would also, I would put both of them in god tier. Because I think okay, they well, come in the meantime, as I'm gonna a put set. Gyarados in god tier just ahead of time, so we already both agree on that. Yeah. But I think, see, I, I wouldn't put Gyarados in god tier without Magikarp, and I wouldn't put Magikarp in god tier without Gyarados. And my reasoning is because they both come as a pair. The reason why Gyarados is so cool, first of all, because the yeah, the design, it's super cool. No, see, but Gyarados, even... if you took, if Gyarados existed without Magikarp, it would already be god tier. Because look at look at this design. If, if you, Gyarados if, was like, without uh, Magikarp, again... I think it would be in top tier for me. But with this is Magikarp, a, this is a motherfucker you do not motherfuck with. 
yeah, I am aware. And that, but see, that's so much funnier and so much cooler because he comes from Magikarp. And Magikarp I, I ag- is I agree. so funny. I agree, but if I'm looking a, at Magikarp... he only knows Splash, and B, he evolves into Gyarados. I agree. I agree. I agree. However, when I'm thinking about just Magikarp in isolation... Uh, he's the funniest like, Pokemon. He's so funny. No, there are funnier Pokemon. T- Toad's cool is funnier than Well, yeah, Magikarp. Toad's cool is funnier. But I don't know. I just uh, even love in this generation, let me find a Pokemon that's funnier than Slowbro. Slowbro is funnier than. Well, Magikarp. yeah, but Slowbro is the funny. Slowbro is the best Pokemon of all time. Maybe not of all time, uh, but the best of the gen. I I don't know. I I can't in good faith put Magikarp in God tier. I, I would. Will... I'd put him in top to placate, but not not God. I I can stick with top, but. Like that, that, I I can't in good faith put him on the same level as these literal units, even like knowing the the meme and the reasoning. I I just love Magikarp to bits, man. Uh, Lapras I also absolutely love. Lapras yeah, is la- cute and cool in equal parts. Yeah, it's, it's like very graceful. They always depict Lapras as the Pokemon you take to use surf and like they surf on to travel water in the pokemon anime uh Dude, it was like it was like designed to be transported to transport humans across the sea Dude, lapras it, like i feel like i could cross the atlantis ocean on lapras and just feel so the, safe you mean it. the atlantic ocean uh did i say atlantis ocean or something like that yes <laughs> god damn yeah atlantic ocean <laughs> Yeah, I would say I would say Lapras is top tier. I, I can absolutely agree with that. Yeah, it's 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 not quite god tier. It's not like on Gyarados's level, but it's de- definitely top. Ditto. Ditto is funny because he's every Pokemon except they have on in the anime. It's every Pokemon, but with a goofy Ditto face. See, uh. On the one and hand, as we you could as go with made the canon by Detective Pikachu, by made canon by Detective Pikachu, can also turn into people. So, I mean, we could go with the meme and say, "Oh, he's every Pokemon, therefore God tier." But if we're just uh, no, looking I, at I don't the blob, to... I, I think the say... idea. I, I like it more when Ditto transforms into Pokemon, but with the Ditto face. I feel like that bit of. Uh, canon yeah, from except the that anime. doesn't really happen in the in the in the yeah. games. He just straight up copies the Pokemon entirely. I would say high tier. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Just because of the face thing. Eevee. I love Eevee and all the Eevee Lucians so much. Yeah, Genuinely, I would say Eevee... every. There has not been a miss with any of the Eevee Lucians in any of the gens genuinely they've all been amazing so far i wasn't a fan i'm the least fan of espion uh dude espion's one of my favorites i I think espion i I don't dislike espion i just i feel like espion's the weakest of all the evolutions uh espion used to be legitimately one of my favorite pokemon it's calmed down a little bit over the years uh, but like fucking, well, I still love Espeon and still prefer Espeon to Umbreon. Honestly, uh, I feel I like, like Sylveon Del-Caddy a lot. It's just like Delcaddy is a better Espeon. Hold on, let me look up Delcaddy real quick. It's like the evolution of Skitty. Uh, I like Delcaddy, but I still vastly prefer Espeon. They, Espeon, Espeon has the slenderness, and, and and his fur is definitely smooth as silk. Espeon but... is fucking slender, but also, like, mysterious and almost, like, slightly, in a way, frightening. Where if I saw an Espeon in real life, I would feel like I was about to get murdered. But at the same time, if you had one as a pet... I would soon feel pet, that about an Umbreon. At the same time, if I had an Espeon as a pet... I would feel forever safe by its side. I I feel like Espion would just 
murder anything that dare threaten to me. Uh, okay, well, for, for just Eevee, I would say uh, because it evolves into so many better versions of itself that it dis excludes it from god tier, but it definitely top tier. Absolutely top tier. Uh, now, the, 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 the Gen 1 evolutions, Vaporeon, the funny meme breedable one, uh, Jolteon, and Flareon. Hmm. Flareon's definitely the weakest of the three, in my opinion. Uh, and yeah. then I think Jolteon is I think, just barely okay. my favorite. I think memes aside, I genuinely like, uh, Vaporeon the most of the three. Uh, honestly, I think mm, I'm 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 looking at Jolteon. I'm looking at Flareon. I like Flareon's big fluffy floof tail. See, Flareon is just almost a little plain to me, even though he uh, Flareon is adorable, and I would still put Flareon in probably in top tier. Honestly, you put Flareon in top tier? Maybe. Eh, maybe that's a little high, but I don't know. I, I love all the evolutions, man. Uh, and also the I concept mean, behind them. The concept does I think do there a lot are... of carrying, to be fair. Yeah, I, I. Okay, so here's my thing. Uh, I feel like. Well, Espeon is my least favorite. Uh, I feel like all of these three th then make up my second, third, and fourth least favorite. I, I like Umbreon. Uh,. Glaceon, Leafeon, and Sylveon more than th those other four. But I would say all three of them can go in high tier. Ah. Uh, you know, Flareon can go in high tier. I'd actually press for uh, Vaporeon and Jolteon to be in top tier. Uh, I'll put Vaporeon in top for the funny meme. Uh, Jolteon, though. Jolteon's uh, just a cool dude and also has one of the hardest chases in Poke Park Wii. <laughs> so it's all his. It was, it, that, we have our own biases. I have Smash Brothers, you have Poke Park Wii. Um. Uh, I like the, the pointiness of Jolteon. And that's I, what does it for me. Jolteon is so spiky. I, I but I also like the floofiness of Flareon. Jolteon, I wouldn't want Jolteon as a pet, because it I feel like if I were to pet, pet Jolteon, it would stab me. Yeah. But at the same time, it's so cool looking. Yeah. I, th I think they should both go in high tier, and Vaporeon can go in top tier. I will discontentedly live with it. Uh, well, I, mm, let me... I mean, let me compare them to all the Pokemon in high tier and top tier. Yeah, no, I, I stick by that decision. Porygon, this one gets God tier because it put a lot of children in the hospital. <laughs> that is... It's the Although, only actually, Pokemon in can with a canon body count. <laughs> Man, Although, I don't know if it actually killed any Pokemon, of them. Pokemon... Uh, not Pokemon. A uh, Pikachu was actually the one to fire the attack that caused the flash. Porygon got all the heat. It was Pikachu. Oh, you're fault. right. Pikachu has it's, the it's body. It's the ultimate count. frame job. Porygon was framed for Pikachu's crimes. You're you're right. Uh, it's not quite God tier. Memes aside, it's not quite God tier, but it's definitely up there. See, I love the concept. Uh, especially once Porygon Two gets introduced, I like the idea that Porygon Two is just GameCube version of Porygon on the N64. Yeah. What about Porygon Z? Porygon Z is so weird that it actually kind of works. I, I honestly though... keep... I, I've confused the two in my head. What does Porygon 2 look like? Oh, yeah, he's, like, he's, 2... he's the duck. And then Porygon Z is like the, uh, the goofy duck. <laughs> Porygon <laughs> Z duck. is... <laughs> he got a little too silly. Porygon Z is probably my favorite. Ah, uh, yeah, I like Porygon Z. Uh, Porygon at worst is high tier. 
It's got it's got a really out there color palette. I think I'd be willing to go. Eh. All right, I'm looking at the Pokemon in top tier. It's a tough choice, honestly. Uh, I would say high tier because I I like Porygon Z more. I would I would put Porygon Z in, like top tier. Yeah, I'd put Porygon Z in top tier for sure. I I think Porygon belongs in high tier. All right, I yeah, I think I agree with that. All right, we're on the last line. This one's gonna come out to be about just a little over three hours. So, Omanite and Omastar. Uh, Funny Omanite Praise is Helix. Adorable. Yeah, well, first of all, yeah, Praise Helix meme. Uh, see, I don't really like Omastar as an evolution. I Just honestly because... never gave a shit about the Omanite line until uh, Twitch plays Pokemon. That it, it, it etched their names into the tablets of the stone tablets of history. And yeah, that's genuinely probably the best. The Praise part about Helix Omanite. story is like genuinely one of the greatest tales to ever come from the internet. It's like you could not ru you could not fabricate a story better than that. God, I, I you've actually convinced me. I need to fucking look up that one documentary I watched about Twitch plays Pokemon again because I need to be reminded of what the what the Helix meme was like because it's been yeah, years dude. since I've looked into it. Yeah, I, I dude, I remember it, it's it, uh it's one of my oldest uh er, internet mysteries of someone who was like just like getting into the internet and I got into the internet around the time when Twitch plays Pokemon was the thing and when uh I didn't like follow it religiously but I was around when Praise Helix was like becoming a thing and I was like uh well what what does that mean I l l read up on the lore and I was like oh that is like that's awesome that's awesome that like that happened in Twitch Plays Pokemon, and then we as a community came together and just, like, just wrote our own lore. Yeah, so... Uh, Omanite, I'd put... I would put him in Probably mid. in... I'd put, I'd put it in high tier. I think Omanite's uh... cute. He, Plus he, the, the Helix cute. lore. I'd put it in high tier. Okay, yeah, and then Oma Star, high or or top? I feel like the lore alone is gonna put him in top. Uh, I don't think you should go quite because I just don't like him as an evolution. Is the issue? The lore is great, but he's so mad carried by that. Like without the lore, True. I'd honestly put him below Omanite in mid. Okay, I, I guess that's fair. Uh, Kabuto. I vastly prefer this line to Omanite and Omastar. Uh, Kabutops I, I also has swords for hands. He's not as cool as Scyther, but he is cool. Uh, Omanite and Omastar. Uh, hmm. Or no, K Kabut. God fucking damn it. Kabuto and Kabutops, I literally missed the, mixed them up. Uh, Kabutops, I'd put in top tier, honestly. Kabutops in top tier? Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Kabuto, just one he go, though? Cool looking dude. Uh. Hmm. I still like his design, I like the little glowy red eyes. But I don't like him quite as much as Omanite and Omastar. But I also, I feel like he's, hmm. I feel like he could go in mid-tier. Kabut, mm. I'm iffy about it. I like the little it, red eyes. The red eyes do have soul. Although, I'm... are also soulless looking. But I I'd put him in mid, I guess. Uh, Aerodactyl, uh, Aerodactyl. Is super cool. Yeah, this one uh, is going at high tier at the bare minimum. I would say. I'd say top, top. tier. Yeah, I, he's he's missing like one little thing that keeps him from god tier. Because I feel like Char Charizard is just a cooler Aerodactyl, but Aerodactyl's 
fucking awesome. Uh, Snorlax, he's a he's a he's a big chonker boy. I absolutely love Snorlax. I would put Snorlax in top tier. Yeah, any, any at least top tier. I, do, I don't quite he's think not... he's god tier. He's super close, but... Yeah, he... Uh... He has so much lore and mystique around him from just lying and blocking the path wherever you go. You have to yeah, wake him up with I the pokey like... flute. I feel like he's just missing that one little thing that he like and all of these guys got like the sauce this guy he, he's he's almost got the sauce but not he he ate the sauce <laughs> he ate the sauce uh the legendary birds uh so articuno was my favorite of the three uh by far uh I'm not a huge fan of the legendary birds, I always go back and forth on which one I like least between Articuno and Moltres. I I like Zapdos the most. Really? Moltres is absolutely my least favorite. Like, has always been, unquestioningly. Yeah, I'd say the ranking goes for me Zapdos, Articuno, Moltres. Because I feel, while I like the Phoenix aesthetic, I feel like Ho-Oh just did it better. He's just a chicken on fire that can fly. I guess an albatross yeah. on fire. He's, he's would, the I'll least graceful looking in... phoenix I've ever seen. Does, does Moltres belong in mid or high tier? I feel like he belongs in mid, honestly. Okay, I'll, I'll agree with that, but uh, Articuno and Zapdos. Uh, well, we'll drag them up here for right now, but where, where, yeah, where they belong. They're both at least there. Uh, honestly, I think they both belong in high tier. I think they I'm belong in top. It. I I, I think There's they both belong no in top tier. No way. There's they do not even Articuno and Zapdos. I am not a huge fan of the legendary birds. Honestly, I think they're fine for the most part. But I, like, I really like Articuno's design. Like, look 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 at the spread. See, I like Arnic- uh, Articuno's my favorite, but like, he's just not quite, not not quite top tier to me. That's crazy. Uh, dude, I mean, come on. There's Kabutops in top tier. Meow. I, f- I feel like they're on. Psyduck. I feel like they're on that level. Arcanine, Psyduck's in top Nine tier. Tails. I I feel like they're on that level. I I absolutely do not think they're on that level. Okay, uh, I won't. I don't. I don't. I won't fight for it that much. But I I definitely think they are higher than like all these guys. Uh, Dratini line. So I really like the Dratini line, uh, specifically as the first dragon Pokemon. Because yeah, instead of making like the super badass, cool looking dragon, he just, just made kind of a dopey looking dude. He, he's Charizard, but if he was instead of like a fierce dragon, he's a he's a dope. He's just a chill dude. His uh, his body him... are bigger than his wings. Yeah, so I I like that about him. I also like that he evolves from a serpent. Even if he it does, even if it doesn't really feel like he fits the evolution, at the same time it does kind. It is kind of fun. Uh, the the funniest thing I remember about Dragonite is, and this is a this is a 2016 poll. Back in the days of Pokemon Go, if you remember a Viner by the name of Logan Paul, I don't know if you've seen this one before. Uh, this is back when Pokemon Go was at its peak. He went into like I forget where he did it, but it was like a big. I think it was like a park, and there were a bunch of he people there. He went into there. the Japanese suicide forest to catch a <laughs> no, dragonite. That was before the, the, the whole suicide <laughs> forest thing. Uh, this was back when people actually liked Logan Paul, when he was uh, on Vine. Uh, so he went to a park, and he recorded himself in the middle of a park, uh, just saying, all right, watch this. And he pulled, because everyone's playing Pokemon Go, 
uh, probably because like an event or something going on. And then he pulls out his phone and he screams, Dragonite! And everyone looks over at him and Dragonite! And like he like leads a stampede of people across the park over to the Dragonite. And it's, it's like really funny. Because there's, there's not a Dragonite, but he's like, he, he convinced the whole group of people there was. Oh, uh, that's funny. Uh... Uh, Dratini, definitely, at least, bare minimum high tier. I think they could all go in top tier, honestly. Yeah, I don't, I don't disagree. I, li I like how Dragonair is, like, really long and slender, and fat and regal looking, and then just becomes this big dope. I, I don't think he's as cool as Charizard, so that, uh, he keeps him out of god tier, but he is a funny guy. Mewtwo, though, he goes in fucking god tier. Eh. Okay, Crunchy, have you seen Pokemon the first movie? No, I have not. Okay, so be... if you had seen Pokemon the first movie, you would put Mewtwo in god tier. He's just, uh, he's cool looking, but he's just not one of my, like, personal favorites. Even, okay, even outside of Smash Brothers, where he also gets a big boost because he was in Melee, and it was a big deal when he came back as, as the first DLC character in Smash 4, I have uh, a, 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 an extra attachment in Mewtwo f through Smash because uh, he, I will forever hold this over my, my good buddy Armagon, who he was so adamant that Smash 4 would never in a million years get DLC. He was like, because we were getting so much content, so many characters. They said, no, the Neon, stop, we're never gonna get DLC in Smash Brothers. And then Mewtwo's the first character announced as DLC, and I rub it, in, and I never, I've never let him live it down since. But even, even ignoring out all of that, uh, Pokemon, the first movie, he is, is w one of my favorite pieces of content uh, from Pokemon ever. Uh, he's such an awesome character in that movie. And like he's one of the best characters in the Pokemon anime, and I st think about his line in, from the dub of the movie constantly because it's one of the greatest lines in fictional history, where he goes, "I see now that the circumstances of one b one's birth are irrelevant. It's what you do with the gift of life that determines who you are." Because it, it fits uh... his character per, it fits his character perfectly. Especially when, because like you know, he's a, he's the only Pokemon on this list created on the lab, and in the lore where he's like, uh, he doesn't have any memories or he doesn't know why he's angry. Like he has all this hostility towards humans, but with no, like, reason to truly understand why. He's like this tragic character. I I fucking adore Mewtwo, and I will I will also not budge about this one. Mew Mewtwo is not going anywhere but God tier. I guess with your emotional attachment, I can allow it. I I swear on everything, if you watched Pokemon the first movie, you would agree with me. I, I can not only is he a, a great not only is he a well-developed character, he's a badass character in that movie. And last but not least, Mew, the original. Uh, uh well we're lucky I... we're, we're lucky he doesn't have the design he had in the original Japanese versions of the game. Because that is <laughs> yeah. ugly. That, that yeah, would I, go... I, I, I need to refresh myself. Uh, original Japanese Mew. Uh, original Mew Japanese. Uh, oh yeah, a, it was like, it's got tumors. Yeah, I'm looking at the sprite now. Uh, the fucking tumors. Thank God they made it more baby. Yeah, he is, that would have put him in piss tier. <laughs> yeah, but no, I I really love Mew. I would put Mew in top tier. Yeah, I agree with that. Mew is baby. Uh, Mew Mew uh, once again in the if you watch Pokemon the first movie, you will see Mew playing on a windmill, just falling from like one one part of the one blade of the windmill gets high enough, he'll just fall down to the the next one. And I'll just go and you'll you will fall in love with Mew, and uh, then he also is badass because he duels Mewtwo to a draw, and 
it's it's a fucking like we, weird cat thing. Uh, and, and 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 uh, if you see Mew in Brawl when you summon from a Pokeball, it is always an important event because he'll drop a CD that you can pick up, and when you and that's like. That's always been one of the coolest things Smash Brothers has ever done. Uh, connecting music unlocks to uh, Mew, as because like uh, Mew has a very rare spawn rate in those Pokeballs. So and and even then, when he drops it, the CD uh, has a very low uh, life rate. So if you, you you have to pick it up within like three seconds of it spawning, or it disappears. But when you do, it's like it's like magical. It's like finding a four leaf clover or a shooting star. And I, that wraps up the tier list. You said we'd yeah, gloss I, over some things. Yeah, let's say, I feel like everyone in God tier belongs in God tier. Uh, does anyone in top tier belong in God tier? Well, you were going hard from a champ, which I was cock blocking you from. Yeah, and you were going hard on Sand Slash, which I was cock blocking you from, so I guess that evens out. Um. Beedrill, I could make an argument for God Tier. He's got a pretty cool design. I would not put Beedrill in God Tier, no. Uh, I mean, having drills for hands just makes you a badass. Like, bees are already terrifying. If bees look like that in real life, I would never go outside. I would live in hmm. constant fear. Honestly, the more I think about it, the more I'd actually make an argument for Ninetales to be in God tier. Because uh... Ninetales is the most regal Pokemon on this list, while also being the best pet. Tr true, but I feel like outside of that, it's missing like the sauce that the God tier Pokemon have. I think Ninetales has the sauce, honestly. I, I think I'd put Ninetales in God tier. I will put Ninetales in... Mm. If, okay, if nine, if you're gonna gun for Ninetales in, in God tier, I get to take a Pokemon from, from top tier and put into God tier. Well, I mean, the, the first Pokemon I'd put in God tier is probably... Eh, actually... Would, would you, know, would you I, put I, Sand Slash or Ninetales in God Tier first? That's actually a tough choice. I, I, the more I think about it, the more I'm warming up to Ninetales, no pun intended. So I think you can put Machamp and I can put Ninetales in God Tier. I think that's okay. a fair trade. Yeah, that's a fair compromise. Uh, anyone else? Uh, did I gun for anyone else in God Tier? I don't think nope. there was anyone else you gunned for. I'd still put Sand Slash in God tier uh, f first. Uh, th th that's definitely my pick of anyone from the top tier. Okay, be be because I put so many Pokemon in God tier, uh, I will I'll I'll give you that one. So we 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 can put Sand Slash in God tier. Uh, everyone in top tier, I think, belongs in top tier. I think, uh, although I gunned for Arcanine being uh, god tier, I think I can actually live with him being in top tier. Yeah, cause, I mean, if Ninetales is god, then Arcanine has to be top. They can't both be in god. Uh, high tier. Do we want to move anyone from high tier to top tier, or, or knock them down? Uh... I mean, I'm looking at him. I don't think there's anyone that I hate being in high tier so much that I'd like. The only know... ones that I would gun for top tier are Venusaur and the legendary birds. Uh, Venusaur, I'm absolutely fine with being in top tier. You can put it there right now. Okay. Uh, yeah, the I'm, legendary I'm birds. Venusaur. The legendary birds, I will cock block you from putting in top tier, though. Okay. Because I just do not think they're that good. Okay, well, and then, yeah, everyone in high tier, then uh, mid tier. Do we want to knock anyone up or down? Uh, I feel like everyone in mid tier is where they belong. Yeah, I I've got no complaints about mid tier. Maybe uh, Parasect in high tier just because it's like the concept is cool. 
I think I'd sooner put Gold Duck in high tier than Parasect. Okay, then Parasect will stay right where it belongs. I would never put Gold Duck in any higher tier higher than mid. All right, and uh, low tier. Uh, I think in general our picks for low tier are pretty fitting. Yeah, I don't think any one of them deserve a promotion. And uh, piss tier is uh, correct. Perfect okay. as is. All right, yeah, this is the definitive castaway anyway. Gen one Pokemon tier list. Is it, uh, it is objectively uh, correct, and you cannot disagree with us on it. Yeah, so, okay, how, all right, for, for, for this real quick, uh, since these are, we already have four of these, which of these Pokemon in low tier is the worst of the low tiers? Of the low tiers? Uh, which of the four? Yeah, so, we can, so uh, that way we can put one at the very bottom and then have a definitive top five worst Gen 1 Pokemon. Okay, so of the ones in here, I'd probably I'm... put genuinely either Golbat or oh, Paris is real bad, though. Uh, Par Paris has, like, a little bit of coolness factor just because it's the start of the Par Paris. Paris like, perfects it, but Paris is, like, the, the seeds planted. Um... I would say Metapod or Bellsprout. Uh, I think Bellsprout is easily worse than Metapod. Alright, uh... Uh, and you know what? Yeah, I, Bellsprout actually looks like my least favorite of either... Yeah, probably Bellsprout. Yeah, I'd say Bellsprout. Okay, yeah, so we can put Bellsprout at the bottom and now we have a... A definitive top Dude, five. Does Bellsprout belong in Piss Tier? If we're going, if we're trying to arrange it by bottom five, we can put it in there just for the sake of organization. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can put him there. Uh, I forget where the number he was in the decks, but uh, whatever, that's fine. Uh, and now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All of these Pokemon God tier can stay in God tier, uh, but. Who is the weakest in God tier that could be out, will be knocked out of our top ten? Hmm. Um. I would I would say Sandslash. I would say Machamp. Well then. Uh. All right. Uh, I guess we'll just have a two way tie for tenth. Then we'll, we'll compromise. That works well and enough. And then these ones, in no particular order, are 1 through 9. And right, I think that perfects the list. Yep, this is the 100% the, the definitive Castaway Anyway Pokemon Gen 1 tier list. Uh, I think it'll be a while before we do the Gen 2 tier list. Because uh, this was this long one, AF. <laughs> this was like three, <laughs> 3 hours and 15 minutes. Yeah, and then uh, we can keep yeah. cycling through the gens up until we get to the ones where we barely recognize any of the Pokemon. Yeah, that would be when I get to Gen 7. Uh, Gen, Gen 7 is when I stop remembering which Pokemon are from which region. Gen 7, I do. That was a bit further into my childhood than it was for you. So I still generally remember them. But then after that, I completely dropped out of the Pokemon franchise. Yeah, I, I skipped. I to this day skipped Sword and Shield. I have no interest in going back. If I if I ever play Sword and Shield, it would only be for completionist sake to say that I have played and beaten every Poke mainline Pokemon game. Yeah, uh, and I All still right. have no uh, plans to play Scarlet and Violet either. Especially considering I would they say I would I would have recommended state. you get it last year just just because when it was at its craze and literally everyone was playing it, but. I would definitely say that it's a, uh, and not in in its state now where people only give a shit about it because of you know uh like, it's the most recent Pokemon. Therefore, it is the one they're playing competitively and doing like Nuzlocks for and challenge runs, and uh, the DLC which looks extraordinarily mid. 
like all Pokemon DLC. Uh, it, there's not much point getting it now. I would say if you're ever to get back into Pokemon, wait until the next generation. And hope Game Freak cleans up its act, which will probably oh, not please. happen. Remember when Game Freak was cool? Remember when Game Freak made fun games that didn't glitch out to high heaven look like shit? Dude, remember when they made stuff like fucking Gen 5, which, however much shit I'll give the story, at the very least it was experimental. You know, they were trying something new. Yeah, but it's... It, it's po Pokemon's one of those franchises where, like, you'd think you'll like it forever, and while it will always be, like, a, a part of my life, because it's, like... The biggest Nintendo franchise, even outside of Mario. I feel like Pokemon has transcended Mario uh, in the grand scheme of things. It's just that it's, it, Mar well, Mario never fell off. Pokemon fell off, and, that, and that's sad to say, but it's true. Yeah. All right. A somber note to end on, but uh, it's, it's, it's just the current state of affairs. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, so be sure to subscribe to the to Crunchy's second channel here for more episodes of Castaway. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye.